Hello everyone, hello, hello, how y'all doing this fine day? Hello everyone, hello, how are you all doing? Seems like chat is popping today, it's very popping. Hello everyone, hello Cookie, hello Senpai, hello Riz, hello Aika, Aika, um, hello Ray the Shaki, and hello Alex, hello, hello. It's Shaki, we, we always miss ya, always miss ya. I'm back from somewhere, no one should know. Oh, well, that's always good to know. Are you guys ready? We are going to be doing an amazing interview with our favorite sheep, the best of sheeps. The most of lutest of sheeps. I mean, just the best of sheeps, best of sheeps. Let's see if our, our sheep guest is ready. I am going to guess that it's definitely ready. All right, let's get everything started, shall we? Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, 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 are you okay? No, I'm dying. Uh, don't die, please. Uh, no promises. Oh, there you are. No, I'm hiding. No, no, oh, you're not hiding. my God. I am very blurry. literal. I can count the pixels on my body right now. Hmm. Let me, let me. Oh, hey, you get better. You get better. <laughs> yeah, this is a pixel sheet. There you right go. If I've ever seen one. There you go. Now you're better. There you go. Okay, that's a, yeah, that's a little bit. <laughs> I'm I'm streaming on my end, right? Do you see my my end? So yes. nonstop. Yes. Google. Awesome, awesome. So we got Pixel Sheep. So he's being unsay so. What do you mean unsay so? I didn't even do anything yet. <laughs> not even that. <laughs> yeah, not even did a thing yet. Oh my god. But um, welcome. It's a long time coming. I don't know why it took us this long. We did try to do that one time, but then we both like woke we up both and like yeah, we were full of full gore. Brain would brew. Very, very brew. No, not sheep for work. Sheep not sheep for work. For gore. For gore. She puts the suck in succubus. Oh, snap. All the, all these I, puns are for you. I don't know if that was a... Was that... That sounded kind of rude. Oh, yeah, no, right? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> no, this is definitely you guys' crowd. Definitely your crowd. But yeah, no, it's been a while. Since I actually talked to you, I think we did that Jackbox thing, right? Uh, yeah, we also did Monster Prom not too long uh -huh. ago. Monster Prom, that was really fun. I kind of want to do it fun. again. I want to do it again, but I want to do the um, camp one. Monster Camp is very fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to do that so much. So much fun. I'm a big, a big Monster Prom. 
fan. Yeah, I was able oh. to get my. Hey, thank you for the cheer. Thank you for the hundred. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, no, I really, actually, really wow. happy. Uh, I was able to get uh, get get the waifu of my dreams, the the weeby uh, otaku waifu of the of the tentacle variety. Oh, you mean you got me? <laughs> yes, yes. You're definitely yeah. the tentacle one. Definitely. I the mean, tentacle. I am Zoe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nuki. Hey, Nuki. Hello, hello. He had all the great people here today. Trick cheated. I was supposed to win. Ha ha ha. I didn't win. You were trying to sabotage me multiple times. <laughs> you. And then you failed. I did not do anything. Anything at all. She's lying. She has no tentacles. You have tentacles? I might. You never know. See, that's what I'm scared about. This is I don't think I think this is like the first time I've actually interviewed a succubus. So I'm gonna stay for a while. Stay in that. Stay in that area. Stay in that area. No, just, just I can't. I can't. I can't look directly. <laughs> I can't look directly into your eyes, uh, for reasons. Damn, what's wrong with my eyes? Uh, damn eyes though. That's exactly what's wrong with your eyes. Uh, <laughs> he eyes tricked you. Yes, yes, so deep, so deep. With the crosses and everything like so that. Deep. So deep. So they're deep, so deep. They're stars. Oh, they're so starry. Oh, it's not. It's not. But, so, for everyone at home who doesn't know what we are doing, this is a amazing VTuber interview I host every single week where I ask your very favorite VTuber. Today is our succubus VTuber, Aika, where I think I hear myself in the back. I'm not sure why. Mm -hmm. Is that a repeat for me on? Hello! Because I don't have any of your audio playing other than your Discord. Wouldn't be me. Wait, I know what's going on. I say I have no idea what's going on. Nope, I have no idea what's going on. I don't know. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I, I do these interviews just every week, and I will be interviewing our amazing succubus sheep. Which I am also kind of confused about because when I first met you, you were just a sheep. Just a sheep. And then I saw some not safe for the work art on your Twitter. And now I'm like, oh, you're not just that. You're, you're a succubus as well. Yes. I see. <laughs> yes. 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 I still don't know what's, why I keep on hearing someone in the background. Let's do that. Anyway, not sheep for work. Not sheep for work. Definitely not, not sheep for work. Told you she's the unpure one. Yeah, but I yeah, know. I feel like I feel ma mamble. Ma mamble. <laughs> poll for the purity. Poll. Yes, let's do a poll. Cookie, set up the poll. I'm pure. I'm wholesome. No, I wouldn't lie about that. I, there's <laughs> literal clips of me on stream. Literally from tonight. <laughs> oh no, what did you do? Uh, I said more than once that Kyoko Kirigiri, that can peg me. Oh. Well, I, I won't lie about it. It's Kirigiri. I just. I, I... Protein. Oh yeah, is protein. It is it cum? Yep, that's another one. Oh, oh yeah. No, that's, a, that's always the best one. I will not tell you what I voted for. I... <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> well, unless this, is a, unless this is a overwhelming, unless this is overwhelming. Easy come, easy go. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> like a booty call. Look at booty call. Oh, it's like not booty call. Like a booty call. Okay, so. Hey, I do not know why I keep on hearing myself. Hmm. What is going on? Sorry, that doesn't bother me, but I'll figure that out later. Yep. <laughs> anyway. 
Yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, so, uh, we're gonna be. I'm gonna be asking you 15 questions for this lovely interview for you today. And with that said, these questions you have already seen, but you already forgot, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I I, I read them. Okay, well, like once or once, twice, or maybe. And you already <laughs> forgot them once. I'm not smart. I said that, but I'll say that many you're times sheep. on stream. You're very sheep. Very sheep. Very sheep. But nothing wrong with being sheep. Sheep is great, right? Nothing wrong with being sheep. Sheep is great. Sheep is great. Duality is sheep. <laughs> well, she has shark brain, and now you have sheep brain. Yeah, she has shark brain. Yes. How about that? How about you introduce yourself first before we get started? To everyone in chat. Uh, hi. So I am Aika Anatsu. Uh, I'm a streamer here on Twitch.tv. Um, <laughs> oh, it's a tie. Anyway, yeah. uh, I'm a streamer here on Twitch.tv. I play mostly RPGs, JRPGs, stuff like that. Um, the game that I've been playing currently is Danganronpa, uh, Trigger Happy Havoc. It's my first time playing through the game, and I'm absolutely loving it, other than all of the emotional damage I'm suffering. Yeah, there's a lot of emotional damage for that one. At least none of your favorites have died yet, right? <laughs> right. All of my, oh. almost, almost all of my favorites have died. Oh, no. Aww. The only one that hasn't died yet is still... Uh, the only one that still hasn't died is Kyoko. <laughs> uh, uh, well, you'll enjoy the game, okay? You definitely go enjoy I, the game. I am very much enjoying the game. <laughs> well, I hope you like the second ones and uh, the third one. Because I, I like the second one the best. My favorite one. I definitely will say that uh, Chiaki is my favorite. So when, we, when you get to that part, I'm going to look forward to what you think of Chiaki. I'm sure I'm going to love her. I love Marina. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Well, yeah, we'll get right into that later. But for now, are you ready for the first question of the night? Uh, <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> yep, and everyone in chat, just letting you know, like, hold on your questions until the end. Because I might actually ask you some of the questions that I'm about to ask uh, our amazing guest right here. So you shouldn't have to worry about asking any questions until the end. And then you can ask your burning question about the sheep. Like, what she used to cut her wool. Do you have wool? Do you have wool? Uh, no. And that's why it's funny that I call you the Wooly Friends. The Wooly Friends? Because she doesn't have wool? So, do you not have friends? I... I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> no! No, come back! No! No! But anyway, anyway... <laughs> How rude. How rude. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to <laughs> expose you. Hey, cancel trick. No, don't cancel. No. Consider yourself canceled, buddy. <laughs> bah. 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 All right. So, let's get... So, hold your questions till the end, and then we'll be able to um, get all the burning questions that you guys want to ask. We also will have a spin the wheel, which we actually have a spinning wheel that we actually incremented uh, before you saw. I don't know if you've seen the wheel. But uh, I think you were talking about implementing mm -hmm. it when I the, think the last interview that I sat in on. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we actually have the wheel now, so we'll put that Ooh. on it. So if you guys want to, there should be a redeem uh, a wheel spin, a wheel spin on there for you. So you'd be able to actually hit the redeem 100 to get a wheel spin. And we will do that at near the end as well. But first, let's get started with the first question of the night. And that is, what made you want to get into streaming? That is a fantastic question. Um, <laughs> so, I think it came from... You know, I... So, some of the some of the people know this about me. Um, I actually started streaming back in probably 2015. Um, I've been streaming for quite a while, um, but I've taken long hiatuses here and there. Um, I don't know. I don't really know why I just started streaming one day. I, I got the interest because I think I was a little intimidated by YouTube. Uh, I think I, because I did try to do YouTube for the longest time or not for the longest time, but I tried it for like a couple months and I'm like, this isn't working. This isn't for me. So I moved over to streaming on Twitch. Um, I was watching a lot of Twitch streamers at the time, and I was like, you know what? This looks like a lot of fun. Maybe I'll give it a try. Um, and I made a lot of good friends. Um, I haven't talked to, you know, some of them. It's been a 
a while. I used to attend um, PAX East and spend a lot of time with people there. Um, very sheepy one day. Very sheepy. Very sheepy. Oh. You look very interesting with your paint on your face. Ah, uh, yeah. What's uh, OBS Ninja? What's going on? It, but, there you go. Now you just be pixel, pixel. A little bit. Oh, that's 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 so bad. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's Discord... censored, censored sheep. So, do you want to be painted sheep or do you want to be censored sheep? I don't know. I'm wondering why it does that. I can Minecraft skin. I have a Minecraft skin. <laughs> I don't play why Minecraft. Why like zoom really? in? Would that like? Would that like help? Oh, you're I so just big. zoomed in a lot. <laughs> I'm you're very big. You're, you're very big. Cause I never had an issue with the pixelation because I uh, would do it with uh, boobas, boobas. I did it with Rainy when we did our. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it could be something going on on my end, but I never know what really how to fix this issue. Is there like a setting? Guys, we're having a lot of technical difficulties, aren't we today? VTuber streams are always scuffed. True. Voice and video. Is there like a video? Huh. Discord was acting up um, not that long ago. It shut down for a little bit, so maybe just Discord. Yeah, the Unity Discord. model updated strong. Yeah. I guess I'll be a painted sheep for now. Let me, let yep. me zoom back out. No, it'd be painted sheep. Let me, let me zoom out. I got double hands, I just realized. I think that's what's hey, going on. What go. the heck? No, 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 now you're good. You're good now. You're good. Oh, okay, okay. Bye-bye, Alex. Bye-bye. Oh, bye, Alex. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to <laughs> No, he's traumatized Alex. Nah, you're totally fine. All right. But yeah, no. So you've been streaming since your 2015? Wow. That's actually... Yeah. That's a really long time. I Almost was actually... Years. Yeah, I was actually one of the first Twitch affiliates. I was in the, one of those first batches of Twitch affiliates. Um, nice suit. I actually still have the email saved somewhere where it told me you've been invited to be a Twitch affiliate because I was uh, streaming at the time and I was using Game Wisp, I think is how I was using it. I was using for subscriptions and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I, I've been streaming for a long time, but I finally have a good setup to stream more. Um, stream better games because all I was wow, able to play was Minecraft. Superb. Thank you to Nuki for gifting Highland ASL. Nuki. Thank you, Nuki. Nuki is the best. Nuki, thank you, thank you. Nuki, I'm coming but, over for tacos after I'm done. Wait, what? I want tacos. Why is everyone having tacos but me? <laughs> I want tacos. Aw. I want tacos. But thank you to Nuki. All right, Suvi, Suvi, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Go back to you. Go back to you. But yeah, so you're <laughs> yeah, the true. So you're the true OG. True OG. Yeah, I've been streaming for quite a long time. I just realized it seems like you, Sharky, and Tunuki all like to hang out with each other. Do we have like a shark, sheep, and a Tunuki <laughs> just all hanging out with each other? So, all so, the time? so Rainy is um, a very close friend of mine that I've known before I started streaming. <laughs> I make it eight. Um, eight. That I, I've known for a little over a year. We've been pretty close. We've been very close. Um, we met IRL before the pandemic and became oh. closer over the pandemic. Um, and Nuki is actually this really cool person that I started talking to recently. Uh, like in the past like three or four days, I've been talking to her a lot more. He's and Nuki is to Nuki is one of the best VTubers I've ever met. She's actually helped me out with so many things. She has been giving me a lots of advice. I love her. She's an absolute bean. The best of beans. Yeah, we met Chris during the pandemic. I, I mean, know, wow. Chris, I mean, it's literally the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> that face, though. You are oh. a bean. <laughs> You're the best of beans. Best of beans. Anyone, anyone could be friends. I think anyone should be friends with Tanuki. Definitely. And then Bujin bullies me. Oh, yeah, no, Bougie always bullies her. But don't worry, my chat bullies me all the time. You should literally see Cookie 
just a second ago. She freaking almost killed. Oh, no, she did kill me in freaking Elden Ring. She killed me in Elden Ring. I mean, to be fair, I'd kill you in Elden Ring, too. Yeah, most people would, to tell the truth. All right. <laughs> you probably would be invading me. Yeah, I'd be invading you and not know what to do with the game because I'm terrible at from software games. I, I'm pretty okay with it, I think. I'm not the worst, but, you know, it's all good. Yeah, Twisted Bujin and, uh, bullies me in person as well. Oh, wow. Dang. Go for it. Is this fourth wall breaking? I see. I see. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> All you needed was that special Elden Ring. Oh, yeah. She was talking about a special kind of Elden Ring that you can get that will help the most for people. Thank you, Burger King, for lettuce for the lurk. I love that guy. I bully you Number special. 15, oh. <laughs> Burger King foot lettuce. That's pretty much what it's from. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to the next question, shall we? Um, what excites you about being a VTuber gamer? Um, So being a VTuber allows me to... Uh, being a VTuber kind of allowed me to express some things, you know, express myself and be um, myself a little bit more. Or actually, even more, be somebody else um, um, that I, you know, I normally wouldn't be able to be on stream. And playing games is just something I've always enjoyed doing, especially on stream. You know, I played... Um, the reason I really stopped streaming um, between, I think I streamed 2015 to 2017 pretty consistently. Uh, then I kind of stopped on it. I was very on and off from 2017 to... Uh, more recent was because of burnout, because um, I could only play Minecraft on my old computer. Mm, makes sense. Um, and now that I have, you know, I have a capture card, I have a better computer, I can stream so many games, I can play so many different things, and I felt like I was limited to streaming Minecraft. I left because that was like I had built my community on Minecraft, I had built everything on Minecraft, and now you know I'm rebuilding it as a variety streamer, and I'm just having a lot more fun as a VTuber. Which I think is great. Like, I think being a variety streamer is actually really, really good for just growth, in my opinion. Because that means you play a whole bunch of different games. And the people who watch you are not watching you for the game. They're watching for you playing those games, which might grow you slower. But that means they'll, <coughs> they'll watch you for whatever you want to play. They are not watching you just for your... They're not just watching you for... Um, the game you're playing specifically because there's a lot of people who only play one game and that's all they play and if they want to move on to the next game all that community just doesn't want to watch them at all so, yeah and i'm that's one of the things i've been kind of like thinking about and like um because right now i'm really enjoying danganronpa but that's all i've been playing um but like i'm the kind of person that'll hyper fixate on the game that i'm playing so i really want to just move on to the next danganronpa after i mm -hmm. finish this one but I don't know if that's something I should do um, because I also want to play Persona 4 Golden, but I also want to play Persona 5 Strikers. Um, and these are games that I own that I've been meaning to play, but I'm afraid that if I start one game and then I'm like, okay, I want to play Danganronpa 2, and I'll start that, and I'll only want to play Danganronpa. <laughs> and I, just, yeah. I don't have enough time to stream all these games for hours a night. You know, I can usually do a four or five hour stream because I start at five o'clock Eastern Standard now. Um, but Dynasty Warriors. I like Strikers. I think Strikers is fun. It, it is a Dynasty Warriors game, but it is a canonical finish to Persona 5. And it's on top of that, sequel. Ryuji gets to say fuck. Yep, he does. He, say, uh, he says it a good amount of times, too. It was That's the most important part. Yes, exactly. The best, the best. Um, well, I, I, I don't know how many times you stream a week. But usually how I do it and have the... Because I, I'm in the same boat. There's so many games I want to play. And if I've just played one game of that kind for the entire week, I feel like I would get really uh, burnt out very quickly. Um, so I just pick a certain day each and every week to play that game. Like, I'm playing through the Fatal Frame series right now, but I dip into some other, other content for my streams, like the interviews, uh, Genshin Impact, and even before this, I did Elden Ring. So I play a whole bunch of different games throughout the week, but then each and every week, you usually can tell that I'm going to do another VTuber interview, I'm going to play some more Genshin, I might play another horror game. So usually people can still come in 
expect what I'm going to play, but I can still play multiple games throughout the week. Mm. So yeah, that's, that's um, an option too. It's an option. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, Dog and Rampa, like, I personally don't think I'm going to get bored because I, if I had the time tonight and I wasn't, you know, if I didn't have to work tomorrow morning, my uh, my boring my boring job, I would have absolutely started the fifth trial and mm. started that chapter um, because I am so invested into the story. Um, I actually played through the first two. I played through the first two trials before going on a vacation, and I was gone. I I, just, I couldn't stream for like a week, and I was like, I just want to play Danganronpa. I just want to get back to the story. <laughs> it's so good. I remember when I was playing the second one when it first came out. Uh, I was literally at class drawing a diagram of like how someone did something. Um, like focusing it on class. Like how did this happen? It was so good. I love that game series. So yeah, much. we literally with uh, with risk because we were you know it was risk rainy and I, um, I we we literally could not stop talking about it. It was just nonstop. We were just talking about Dong and Rampa for the minimal amount that I played. Um, it's definitely a game right up my alley, and I've been very much enjoying it. Add the wait until you're pretty much done with the game series before we can talk about it, because I don't want to sp accidentally spoil anything for you. Just and know I that it gets. That. Of course, uh, just know that it gets better as you get into more of the games. It's better and better. I mean, yeah, I imagine. I mean, for Trigger Happy, Trigger Happy Havoc came out in 2010. Like, it's an old yeah. game. It's an old game series. And unfortunately, they did suggest that they're not going to make any more Dekaromba games anymore, which I'm fine with. I think it just ending off on a great note is totally fine. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I think the anime wrapped up all the loose ends. I think the... The third one actually does a really good job with, like, the idea of Dagorompa. It's just, like, it's a really good, like, series that was wrapped up. And there's a new game series that they're going to be working on very soon that has the same style, but it's going to be more of, like, a ghost detective kind of game series. It's going to be Ooh. interesting. So that's going to be a cool one. I don't have time to play it. I enjoy watching it, though. Sheep Eyes. Watch it through Sheep Eyes. You watch. You watch the third one. I played the third one. Apparently, the anime has. Um, I guess the the third anime has something to do differently with. So, um, for so what the anime is that there's there's the first anime that covers through the first game. Don't watch that. That sucks. Um, but then there's another anime. Anyway. Oh, go okay, yeah, go for it. Go for it. You you'll you'll agree with me. Watch. Um, because compared to like the game playing through the game you'll notice there's a huge difference um but the other anime actually what it does is that there's two animes out there okay there's the one anime there's actually a prequel to the Dagorompa games so it's kind of like to see what is going on in the prequel and then the other side of anime is the sequel hey, that wraps up the ending of everything thank you for the follow rage but yeah so there's two arcs. Yes, that's what it is. There's two arcs. There's two arcs of anime running right by... Yeah, the, right the by Hope and Despair percent. arc, right? Yep. So you watch one in the beginning and one in the one at the end. So that wraps up the entire story. So after you play through the third one, uh, technically you could watch the anime after the second one because it doesn't really spoil anything for the third one. Like, you, like I don't want to spoil too much of the third one at all, at all for you guys, but let's just say you can watch the anime and not be spoiled of the third one at all. Um, you only just need to watch the first you just need to play through the first and second one and you'll have most of the story oh yeah. okay the third yeah, anime yeah, is I definitely different from B3 mm -hmm. B3 but yeah uh, wow we go we go off topic right off the bat I'm awesome. very good at getting people <laughs> off topic which is great I like this these streams are pretty much designed to be put like thrown off topic which is amazing I have so much fun with doing these um, I need to eventually like take all my v VODs of all my interviews I've done and just eventually just straight up post it on YouTube so I finally have my entire catalog of interviews. I haven't done it yet. I really need to do that so I don't lose any of my interviews because I know entire that I'm only... Friend. All my friends, all the entire friendship, off topic. Oh yeah, well, obviously. You you get these people just distracted so you suck your best powers, right? You get people distracted. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> You're never late, Doc. How about you introduce yourself to any new people who jumped in? Hi, for those you? who are new, uh, I'm Aika Anatsu, a, a 
sucky sheep. We're just gonna say sucky sheep because that's so much easier than saying you're sheep sucky. You're, suck, you're gonna suck a sheep? Only if you want me to. Anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. uh, I am a VTuber here on Twitch.tv. Um, streaming mostly JRPGs and RPG games. Um, uh, open to a lot of different other things, but right now I'm currently playing mm -hmm. through the Dong Rampa series. Uh, and I am having a hell of a good time, other than all of the emotional damage I'm suffering. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of emotional damage. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> the first two trials broke me. It, it breaks everyone. That's how you know you're in the Danganronpa game. It's like, cool. You went through the first and second? Awesome. Let's continue. Emotional damage. Emotional damage. I love how that thing got so popular. I think it's hilarious. Um, and don't forget the bullying. Don't forget the bullying. All the bullying. <laughs> um, so how about this? So you are a sheep succubus VTuber, right? Yes. Ooh, okay. So I definitely never seen a succubus sheep in the VTube community, but I have seen a lot of succubuses. And I've seen a couple of sheep VTubers. What would you say that you do to help you stand out of the VTube community? Is it the combination of the two? Uh, <laughs> actually, so funny thing. I was reading these when I was reading these back. I was with um, Rainy and Chris uh, Riss. I keep calling him just by his name. Uh, Riss doxing him. Riss. Um, uh, uh, and I kind of just worry. he he will never realize that we call him, call him Chris. I mean Riss anymore. I mean, let's call him Rice. Yeah, we just call him Rice. Rice? Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, ah, so to be completely honest with you, I'm not entirely sure what, you know, makes me stand. <laughs> if you don't play Kingdom Hearts, you look at my name, you don't <laughs> figure it out. Fair enough. Um, I don't know. I don't really find anything particular that makes me stand out other than the fact that I am very horny on main all the time, especially in my streams. But I mean, I guess that's not exactly a... Uh, a special feature? It's not a bad feature. I can promise you that. It's not the bad feature. In fact, um, some some VTubers are kind of kind of as you need to sometimes. I don't agree with it, but I have seen that in the Twitter feeds. Yeah, bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. Um, you know, <laughs> I'm say so. Well, to oh, we can change section. that new key. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Anyway. Red, um, red Panda <laughs> on sheep action. Coming to <laughs> pay-per-view. Um, so, I mean, one thing that, um, you know, something that I've been looking to get into um, that I'm hoping that will help me stand out um, is, like my sister, Rainy, um, I'd like to be getting into music. Ooh, um, that'd be cool. It's, it's something that I've, you know, always wanted to do, but never had a platform to do it. And I think as a VTuber, I think that's like the perfect opportunity to do something like that with original songs or covers of songs. I already have two covers planned and one one song we're going to put, say, in development. Um, we're still working on lyrics, but we do have a little bit done with it. Okay. Like, I, like I, I've i heard a little bit of Rainy's songs, and I thought it was freaking amazing. I'm really looking forward to when it actually comes out on Spotify. I will have to be one of the first ones to like it. Um, but, yeah, uh, I'm definitely Rainy looking forward to it. Rainy is absolutely very – Rainy is very talented and very, very – um, I, I wish I, I could sing, too. But yeah. uh, little autotune goes a long way, apparently. Right, well, one day we'll hear you sing. I will definitely hear you sing. It'll be awesome. I wish I could sing too. I, that's actually like a, that's like one of those dreams. Have you ever had a, um, if you had a wish that you could get a talent just naturally without any hard work and effort, what would it be? Mine would be singing. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I would just be, I would wish I would be naturally talented at every video game that comes out. Just naturally talented to be the best gamer. Because I could just be the best. I could be I could be the ultimate gamer. Ultimate gamer. Call me Chiaki. Do it. Be the Chiaki. Be the Chiaki. Be um, the ultimate gamer. I actually Chiaki. I actually hate my mind 2022. 
Oh, dang. Uh, well, yeah. Well, I remember well, it TPing, is because that's how. <laughs> <laughs> no, true, true. Like, like go for it. Like, I think auto tuning is not bad. It doesn't doesn't make people like less of a talent. You know, I I mean, I do play fighting games from here and there. I do play, you know, I play Smash from time to time. I'm not exactly, um, you know, after everything that happened back in 2020 over the pandemic with the community, I kind of dropped out of the game. Yeah, um, I lost same. interest in playing the game just because of all that stuff. You know, I've been following some of those names that got, you know, shown for years, and it kind of discouraged me from really playing the game anymore. But I'm definitely interested in, um, you know, one of the games I was looking at was the Persona 4 Arena Mac, or the Persona 4 Arena game that's coming out. For the Switch? Uh, for the PS4, I'm going to be playing oh. it on, or P actually, specifically on PC, um, because there is rollback netcode on the PC and PS4 versions. I like that, I like that. Um, I also have a round one not far from where I live. And if you don't know what a round one is, it is basically a arcade with a lot of Japanese games and Japanese music. Uh, ja like Japanese music games, um, rhythm games. Um, but one of the games they have there is actually uh, a Persona 4 arena, like arcade system. Ooh. Yo, so I've actually cool. gotten to play it a couple times. Yeah, it's been pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like it looks like your squad is going to be ramping up to getting some fights. Getting rain, some fights. rain is more of the uh, that kind of fighting game. I'm more of a platform. I, you know, I've played Smash all my life. Yeah. Um, the, really, the first quote unquote fighting game that I got into and played a lot of was uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, and you know that's a little controversial because there's a lot of auto combos in that game. But I will say that I did not use auto combos. At least I, I mean, I did in the beginning. But um, you know, as I learned the game, I did get better and stopped using auto combos. Cool. I used to play a lot of fighting games like Guilty Gear, Blades Blue, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, all the kind of stuff. But as I got older and started realizing my time is very short, I don't have much time to do a lot of things anymore. I can't really play fighting games anymore because I can't invest in the time to actually know how to play a lot of those games. So mm -hmm. I kind of just stop doing that. But yeah. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. You turn into whoa, whoa, whoa! I have poofed. What's yeah, going you... on, OBS Ninja? I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it pretty much died on you. <laughs> that was weird, though, right, guys? Oh, me... you want me to refresh it and give you like a fresh page or something? Maybe. Let me. All right, I'll refresh. Uh, camera. We're going to do max resolution. We're going to try that. Is that what we want? Okay, let's see it. And? Uh, I think it's a different, uh, I assume it's a different, uh, different link. Is it a different link? I'd imagine. Here, let me... Wait, no, no, you're back. Am I back? I have, I, I'm summoning you. You, I'm summoning you into our office. Our little, our little amazing setup. You're right now very pixelated, but <laughs> I, I will soon make you whole again. Look, see, see, this is the powers. These are the powers as the host of my show has. I've had so many VTubers in this like arena kind of area that I have soaked away some of that powers and now I can translute people into existence. That's what that means. Ah. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Go to Max. Cool, cool. Alright, so no worries. I think it'd be cool to see you guys singing though. I would like that. Translude. I have translude her out of existence. That sounds weird. Okay, we're moving on. Um, so, <laughs> what games are you looking forward to playing on stream other than Persona and Dagnarapa? <laughs> and Dagnarapa. Oh, uh, do I play other games? Uh, that's a good question. Um, this you know, I haven't cool gotten that far yet. I would say <laughs> uh, it, a game I recommend you playing if you like the Dagnarapa kind of like Persona style games. I recommend you checking out a game called um, Thirteen Sentinels. 
Solitaire. <laughs> yes, try out Solitaire. Solitaire. It totally is. Yes, Solitaire is totally like that. Yes, 100. But no, 13 Sentinels. I highly recommend checking out that game if you like the good characters and good like story. Yes, 100. percent So good. Hard recommend. Yes, 13 Sentinels is really good. I highly recommend it. It's a really good game. Not many people know about it, but it's a beautiful game. It's so good. I also have on my list, I think eventually I would like to replay through Fire Emblem Three Houses in preparations for Fire Emblem Three Hopes. Yep. Is it called uh, Three For Hopes? those of... Yes, that is going to be the, the new game. It's called like Three Hopes. Hmm. Okay, cool. I didn't know it was and called for, Three Hopes. Uh, for those who, who know me or have known me for a while, um, I can't shut up about Fire Emblem Three Houses 90% of the time. <laughs> who, who's uh, best waifu? Who's best waifu? Uh, we stand Edelva Edelgard von Hesfeld in this house. Edelgard? Uh, I, I gotta lower my stands a little bit now. Uh, yeah, you at Ailguard. You're 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 the Red House um, follower. In the Black beginning. equal supremacy. Uh, Invitation nah, revoked. Golden, <laughs> golden. Go. Yep, golden, golden deer all the way. Golden deer all the way. I lo I love golden deer. They're my second favorite house. Yeah, but they should be your first favorite house. No, 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 no. Sorry, Black Eagles. Uh, uh, I'm uh. actually. You can't see it because, um, um, you know, for for uh, reasons. But I'm actually oh, wearing uh, my um, <clears throat> my Black Eagles house uh, shirt <laughs> right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, I knew something was weird. I knew something was off. Uh, that's probably the reason why we had so many issues with our technical issues. Because you follow a dictator, a supremacist. She had the right idea. She just went about uh, it the wrong way. Uh, uh, did she though? Did she? Did she have the right idea? Let's get rid of crests and all of because of nobility, because of all the racism and shit, because, oh, you don't have a crest. <laughs> You're lower than me. Yeah, oh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's avoid spoilers because I know one person <laughs> is uh, <laughs> a, a, a was like, ah, <laughs> what's going on? Anyway, play whatever house you want. Have all the waifus you want. Um, I played, to be fair, I've played every single route. Oh, right, cool. It's not that I, I've I only played too. one. I, I did too. I did too. I have I about 150 there. hours into three houses. Did you do? Did you do the the fourth house too? Yes, I did everything. Nice. I like I like the gold. I like the gray house. Gray house is pretty good. Nips, they were very good. Um, but yes, I will uh, say. Yes. Uh, no, I was gonna say yeah. I'm definitely gonna play replay through three houses. Um, for three hopes. That'd be really cool to see. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I do want to do Three Hopes. I haven't gotten too much into it, but this seems to be new characters, so I'm looking forward to it. As long as they have romance in it, I'll be down. Better have romance. <laughs> Better have romance. You gotta, gotta be able to romance the waifus. Mm, gotta, gotta, you gotta. Right, that's why I'm looking forward to Rune Factory 5 coming out later this month. Gotta romance the waifus. The waifus, the fox waifus. Gotta, gotta, have to. Gotta do it. Um, But yeah, uh, I can't remember her name. But it's the it's the girl with the white hair, the short one, the small one. Lysithia. Lysithia. Yep, yep. That's what. That's she's my waifu. I liked her a lot. That's my I actually, child. Well, see, I liked a lot of the characters, and there's definitely more characters that I, like prefer. But then after I played through her story and her romance, like I just liked her so much. Just like, I don't want to spoil anything for her, but if you do her romance, it's like the most. Like touching thing in the world, I love it so. Oh, yeah, much. no, absolutely. Did you know? Fun fact: uh, Lysithia's fact. voice actor is the same person who voiced XJ9 in My Life as a Teenage Robot. I can see that. That's cool. I like that. I, that was a cool <laughs> TV show. That's more you know. More you know. More you know. <laughs> All right. So, um, we. I'm guessing you might like this, but because most of your fans seems like they like to chill around with you a lot, but outside of your close click that you have, would you ever thought about doing some uh, streams with your fans? Oh, absolutely, 110%. Um, you know, eventually I do want to get games. I, you know, I've had a Switch for since whatever Smash came out, um, but I still own Mario Kart, but I feel like Mario Kart would be a super fun game to play with fans on stream. Um, you know, Mario Kart, there's a bunch of games that, you know, there's definitely games that I would love to play on stream with people um especially you know the friends and fans and stuff like that um i i i do have uh i agreed I, I i hey you know what we'll talk about this later 
<laughs> uh, I made a deal with uh, Mr. Bujin Senpai over here that I would play Call of Duty Vanguard with him on stream if he paid for half, which he has not done. So. Um, like story mode or... or... Uh, multiplayer. I've, I've been... <laughs> check your PayPal. Lady. I've been <laughs> playing... I, I've actually been playing multiplayer off stream a lot with him. Oh, okay. Um, so, okay, okay, cool. I was going to be like... I, I'm not much of a shooter person. The only other shooter that I really play um, is Overwatch. Um, and I don't really play Overwatch all that much anymore. No one does. Tell you, no one does. Very true. Very true. I, you know, I used to play for, I played for a team for four and a half years. He's <laughs> um, the son of four. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, but yeah, I've been playing it. You know, it reminds me a lot of growing up and playing with one of my younger, my, you know, my, childhood friends um playing black ops 2 until 3 4 in the morning over at his house just playing together and it gives me a lot of like you know nostalgia even if it's like a newer call of duty no no i i, I love how call of duty is pretty much the same kind of style of like shooter like it was back in the day they added a whole bunch of new nuances but it still feels like call of duty yeah so i agree on that 100 percent um, and I used to play uh, those kind of games. I actually was pretty good at it. I just, I know. I like interacting with my fans, my chat. I love doing that. So playing a, an intensive, like, competitive game, like a shooter or, like, League of Legends, I kind of stepped away from doing those kind of things because I like to be able to pause the game to stop for a second and just be like, oh, yeah, I died quite a bit. Let's talk about me dying <laughs> kind of situation. Yeah, I I mean I'm not the you know I'm not the greatest at the game. I go in, I die, but you know I have games where I'm doing all right, um, and it translates over to me playing Overwatch a lot of the times. Funny enough, um, mm -hmm. you know I like I said I played Overwatch for a very long time. You know I played since the first Summer Games event, um, and I think I started playing on a team you no know, not too long after, and I was practicing with a team in an organized event for I think I took a, maybe a month break, a couple month break in between those two years. But uh, those four years, but other than that, pretty much played all the time. I see, I see. Give oh, I saying. just poofed. Give me one second. One second yep, just passed. There you are. I am bringing you back. <laughs> you dusted. Uh, I'm not feeling no, so Mr. good. Mr. Trico, I don't feel so good. <laughs> I'm not feeling so good. I bring I you back so to good. life. Oh no. Disappear. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, the ooh, oh no. Boys. My it's, table is broken. It's broken? No, don't break my table. Do not break my <laughs> table. Like, it's expensive to keep this set up the way it is. That's why it's always the same thing. There's no changes, really, because I can't afford anything else. But is you it made of mahogany? Up... It's not. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so don't, don't destroy anything. Don't destroy anything. It's expensive. Don't break the set. No, don't break listen to the set. No, 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 don't break the set. All right, Kooky, no. just for you. But no. No, no, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it's aluminium and bless, blessa, 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 blessa. No, I read that no. as salsa at first. I, I thought it was gonna be salsa. salsa. Yes, uh, you know, there might be salsa in that, um, the cup of mo uh, mocha right there, so just be careful. Hey, you bet. Hey, bet. Oh. <laughs> Don't break your neck, though. Don't break your neck. <laughs> balsa. 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 Oh, whoa. Balsa? Oh, no. Balsa. I think I, think, I, think, I, think I just fell into a nuts joke. Oh, yeah, never mind. That's actually how you pronounce it. I thought I was going to be like uh, some kind of like nuts joke or whatever. A D's nuts? They have D's nuts joke. That's why I thought I just fell into I was like, Nuki, no! But no, it's totally good. It's totally good. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's totally good on like being able to find some games you want to play with fans. I actually have a lot of fun doing this kind of stuff. I would like to do Mario Kart, but I had so much PTSD from last time I played with someone with Mario Kart and how they just <laughs> freaking overlapped me like 20 times. I thought I was okay at the game. But yeah, now, if I play with other people who are okay at the game, I think it'd be a lot of fun. I want to do it. I want to. I want to. But, any who's it? Um, let's go into your model, because you actually just debuted with a new model, haven't you? I did just debut with a new model. So let's talk about it, okay? What is the design, what's the thoughts that went into your design of your new model? So, uh, actually a lot of my, um, uh, my outfit 
came from my mama um, at Cyber so I actually forget her Twitter. I'm pretty sure it's Cybersaurus VT, but I need to verify that. Um, but a lot of it came from my mama, who is big on the cyberspace. Um, you know, that's actually where a lot of the lore came from, and that's actually where Rainy and I kind of match up here. Uh, Cyber Cerberus VT, I was correct. I said Cybersaurus, Cyber Cerberus. Cyber Cerberus, okay. Cyber Cerberus VT, but, um, you know, Mama does a lot of... She, um, you know, very, um... Oh, I'm zoning on the word for it. <laughs> she is a not cyber a cyber card. card. <laughs> Cybersaurus is not a cyber card. That is very true. Um... But uh, Mama, I'll just refer to it as Mama Grimmy or Mama. Um, you know, she does a lot with the cyberspace and a lot of that. And actually, that's kind of where our lore comes in together. But this new outfit was kind of inspired by that. I actually had a new another version of this outfit that I had kind of been interested in um, when I went to her to ask for her for a new outfit for the debut. Um, but we ended up, you know, moving and doing something else, uh, which was this. And I actually really, really do enjoy this. Um, you know, I think this outfit's very cute. I very much enjoy it. Uh, cyberpunk? Yeah, cyberpunk. That's the word. Ah, okay. I can't word. Yeah, because I think when I interviewed Rain back in the day, I don't remember what her lore was. I don't think I asked one. Uh, well, her lore is, um, updated as well, because we've been... Uh, our, our lore kind of ties into, um, uh, to our mom's lore. Well, we're going to be asking about that lore in a couple questions, so definitely. But let's have a look at your model, Boy. shall we? Can you zoom out? Let's see your full body. I don't know if yeah. I can show feet. Chris Hansen might show up at your door. Wait, wait. How old are you? Wait, how old are you again? <laughs> how, how far I, do you want me to zoom out? <laughs> um, can, you, can you move your character to be a little bit on the desk? Do some table dancing. I would love to if I could figure out small, how to do that. Small, small, small. Can you not pick um, up your character? You can. I just don't know how to do it. There oh, you there are. There you go. All right, so you look like you have like wings. Yeah, you have wings on your on your legs. A little bit. Yeah. So that is my. Uh, a you know, tail. I, I do have a tail. My little Easy. succubus tail. Just don't Just rotate don't under. Oh, uh, oh. I'm don't worry. I'm wearing shorts on this model. Oh, okay, good. Uh, mom on the first model may have forgotten to give us underwear. Um, oh, so um, hmm. coochie may have now. <laughs> oh dang! Oh dang! Maybe we can take a look at the back here. Nice, nice. This is a cool no, dress. Got, I like it. We got pockets. Hey, you got pockets, guys. Pockets, that's the real thing. Are you, are you trying to wiggle your booty at us now? No, I'm trying to remember how to do how I just did this because I have like three brain cells. <laughs> you, there we go. Okay, there you go. <laughs> there we go. Was... Yeah, I'm not even gonna risk it. I don't remember. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I I was told that there is a um a special succubus related tattoo somewhere on here that i have not found oh if i know anything about succubus um yeah you you'll definitely have to find it somewhere yeah <laughs> you definitely have to find it somewhere whoa. Uh, whoa but yeah that's the that's the model that's a little something something you know we're in the black with the black crop top yep, yep with a little bit of pink with it. this is a black and pink uh out outfit i like it i like it uh, yeah, a, if you actually saw my inspiration post that I did. I think I did. Uh, I can't remember, though. But a little like Cookie wants to find out. Um, maybe you guys have to do some exploration. How do I... No, that zooms it. How did I... How did I... Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm like, why won't you move down? <laughs> you're good, you're good. Alright, so now my next question for you is one of my favorite questions to ask. That is, what's your favorite part about your design? It seems like every uh, single, t seems like every single time someone <laughs> the booty. That's the that's the best part. Um, booty, the booty. But usually it's the um, 
it's usually it's something small that I've never even noticed. A lot of people don't even notice that it's a thing. So I like these uh, questions. So I have two things that I really admire about this model um, and the way I look. Um, I gotta zoom in to give you a oh. closer look. We're gonna give you the dim the eyes on. though. <laughs> dim eyes. And that is my eyes um, are a big part of it. It's something I really love as I <laughs> take up your entire stream. I know, right? Like, don't eat my mic, please. Don't eat my mic. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> you have no idea where it's been. All the more fun. Yeah, just let's say Cookie has been all over that too. Sounds perfect. Oh, whoa. Um. <laughs> and another thing. <laughs> Uh, another thing that I really like about the model is um, it's something subtle, um, but this is actually something that was on the first model, um, which is the necklace here, the choker that I'm wearing with the cross. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. Yeah, <laughs> um, So this I actually had kind of tried to include into my lore a little bit, um, where it was a it was containing a lot of my succubus powers that could. Uh, cause catastrophic world ending yeah well you, you, i'm gonna blow up the world uh okay um please don't no promises i i, I like the world the way it is it definitely wasn't that great before but now it's getting slightly better so i appreciate I don't know. Have you, you seen don't those gas prices uh, <laughs> luckily i luckily i have a car that doesn't eat gas like crazy, like all the trucks that are around me. And most of the people that is having problems with all these gas prices are people who are driving trucks that cost like over $80 to drive their truck just back and forth. Like, yeah, no, my car, I don't have to worry about that. $35, $37 to fill up my tank from dead. I think that's perfectly fine by me. Totally fine. <laughs> totally fine. I don't need to worry about $80 to $100, like how my dad has to do it. Yeah, I mean, I work from home, so uh, I haven't filled on? my gas up. I haven't, I haven't filled my my car tank up in bit. about a month. Hmm. You need to reset. Um, yes, you have a you have a hat. Rainy has a hat. She has the say so hat. Oh, well, you're definitely not that say so. You're not as oh, lewd. I'm not say so. You're not I'm as not. lewd as I thought you were gonna be, though. We had it. We had a person on stream not that long ago who was extremely lewd. Like we got in some uh, sensitive topics that I should not be posting on YouTube anytime soon. <laughs> would you, not... would you like to get demonetized? Yeah, yeah. You know when you yeah. upload it and they ask, "Would you?" <laughs> when you upload it, is this for children? Probably not. Probably not. Definitely not. None of my content is really for children. But yeah, let's say that. My favorite is I've been uploading my vods to YouTube of Dong and Rampa. And it's like, is this for children? I'm just thinking, probably not. Probably not, but who's going to care? Come on. Children will learn. Anyway. Yeah, children still do join in anyway. Begin a quarter tank, and it's been two months-ish. Nah, like I said, my car is fine. I don't have to worry about gas prices really that much. It is going to get worse, though. It's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. So, yay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, but yeah, that's what I like. I like my eyes, and I like my um, my choker. Um, I like the necklace. It kind of reminds me of I don't know if you've seen the anime Rosaria. <laughs> Rosaria plus vampire. Yeah, I, I imagine that I, you're gonna break this so, up and you're gonna <laughs> turn into a true vampire form. So I actually haven't watched it, but it's, it's really good. Uh, it's really old. It's very there's old. Lot, it's one of there's a lot of panty shots. Yeah, I do remember that. I remember reading um, the manga for it in Shonen Jump. Yeah, but the manga and the anime is way different. Oh, absolutely. Way different. Uh, but Stinks. yeah, so I, I do I do remember vaguely um, about the show. But funny enough, she was, uh, you know, not at all had any... She had no inspiration or no... No inspiration for this model, for my model, for my look. Yep, okay. Makes sense. No way, then. Well, then, how about we get into the one burning question that everyone's been asking about? That is, let's talk about your lore. Why not? Let's get into your lore. Okay, so I'm going to pull this up because I talked to Rainy, <laughs> talked to Mom about this, and I am going to read this just word for word because I 
Uh, I, I've been uh, pretty, pretty bad about coming up with lore, and we just, you know, this is something that we do have to kind of verify with mom, just because we are bouncing off of her lore. Um, just but for now, sure. this is what it's going to be. Go for it. Make sure that you have a nice, like, a narrating voice. In a world. <laughs> In the world. I like it. Fell out a tree. Yeah, no, so I know. So lore is very easy. Fell out a tree, trying to make money. Feels. Trying to make the money, money, money. Drop my popcorn. So, I don't know. This kind of comes down to, I guess this has to be pre uh, prefaced with, um, you know, with, with mom who is Cerberus. She has three different heads. She has Gao, the head that you see the most, I believe, is Gao is, uh... Oh, I'm so bad. I should know my mom's lore. There's Gao, Glitch, and... Oh, yeah, and, um... Duh, 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 duh. Drum? No, I'm trying to think of mom. Uh, mom's other Twitter... It's the say so Twitter. one. The say so one. She's oh, a, she's an absolute too. sweetheart. She's a sharky, actually. That one's oh. a sharky. Huh. I still don't know yeah, how well, a mom oh, is that, has is a that shark. the sharky? No, it's fish bones, right? Gao is the say so head. Oh, go Gao is the say so head. Okay. Okay, my bad. Okay, so Gao is the say so head, the sharky. Um, then okay. we have Grimmy, who is the main head, and then Glitch, who is the glitch in the system. So. Oh, okay. I was a peaceful AI program, you know, hence being a sheep. I was just an AI program. Nothing, nothing too crazy, but I came in contact with, uh, with Glitch, the, the head that should have been shut down and kept away. And that corrupted the AI program that I had. Um, turning me into, you know, the, the lewd chaotic mess that I had become of, um, you know, a sheep I have questions. I, I'll i see if I can answer them, because, again, this is a very WIP work in progress. No worries, no worries. Oh, let me see if I can help you out with this, okay? Um, you're, you were AI. A computer intelligence, pretty much, right? I was, yes. How's that have to do with anything about being a sheep? Um, so the form that the AI took was that of a sheep. Why a sheep? Because it's peaceful. When you think of sheep, when you think of when you think of something peaceful, something that helps you sleep at night, right? You know, I do not something think that would help sheep. you. You don't I count do, sheep to go to sleep. I do, no, I do not. Well, a lot of things. She, people have do you seen the eyes? The eyes are terrifying. Bah. I know. <laughs> right? Clearly, you've never watched Zootopia. I, I like Zootopia. Zootopia is really good, actually. Um, but the AI was designed to be a sheep. Very peaceful, very calm. Um, but after coming in contact with Glitch. Too good does when he gets some sleep. Nah. No one knows, no one knows. But okay, okay, uh, that okay, so you were a sheep AI, and then you got corrupted by the glitch of one of the heads of the Cerberus dog, and now you became a, a super lewd, crazy AI sheep succubus. Yes, and now all I do is roam. I roam the cyberspace and feed and grow more chaotic every day. Okay, cool. You you're already done feeding though, right? You you don't you you're full. Oh no, I'm never full. Well, I'm not tasty. <laughs> I promise you that. Uh, other VTubers have tried to taste me, and they don't like the taste. So don't don't worry, don't taste that good. So you're good. Don't have to worry about that. I uh, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Do good. Awesome. <laughs> all right, so. Uh, I don't think about it too hard. Versus Tasteo hat on. Cool, no worries. But yeah, that's pretty interesting lore. So I'm guessing Rainy is just the shock part of the shark, right? Uh, kind of. From hmm. from what I remember is that Gao was um a bit lonely and created another AI. Huh. And that was Rainy. Oh. All these AIs, all these AIs. So you're not technically a, sh a sheep, and you're not technically a shark. You're just AIs of a shark and a sheep. In a sense. Because you're not actually a sheep. Like You can't, like, I can't, like, cut your wool, right? No, there is no wool for you to cut. Exactly. So you're just a AI. So you're not really a sheep. You're just a AI of a sheep that got corrupted. 
right? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure the form of me before coming in contact with the glitch, you know, I don't remember much of that time, but you know, before that time, I'm sure that um, you know there was more of a sheep form to me. Okay, cool. No worries, no worries. All right, that's pretty interesting. That is actually, it sounds like you actually put more work into some of your lore than I've had on my show. Uh, some people are just like, yeah, I just became a thing. Just, just a I thing. woke up one day and I'm like, haha, yep, I'm here. Yep, I am now the celestial being god and I just feel like streaming for you mortals. It's like, huh, cool, go for it. I, I, like, I like that you actually put a little more thought into your lore. I think that's cool. I think that's cool. It's something uh, I definitely want to flesh out in the future, but. No, I agree. I definitely think you should. It'd be fun. It'd be really fun. Uh, so here's another good question I think you guys might have, especially because of the community at the moment. I would like to know what's your thoughts about the VTube community? Um, You know, I don't really have a huge opinion on the VTuber community. I mean, I act, uh, you know, I interact with those I follow on Twitter and from what i've seen i you know i enjoy it i en i enjoy most of the people in the vtuber community um i don't know if that's one of the one of the questions i don't want to you know try and accidentally answer one of the questions um i think that is actually one it was like what made you become a vtuber or why that was in the beginning oh okay well um you know i've been watching i got into vtubers about a year ago i think two years ago a year and a half two years ago give or take um spending a lot of time with bujin over bujin senpai over um what's it called we uh over quarantine we'd sit in my car or his car or whatever and uh you know watch videos on youtube until like 2 30 in the morning uh while at a fun. gas station just eating food just kind of hanging out after hanging out for the day and you know he started showing me these clips of this uh this this virtual dog girl you know, Grone! on YouTube. Grone! I love Corone. <laughs> yes. I love Corone. Miss, Miss Inugami Corone, who oh, has dude. become one of my favorite JP VTubers um, mine too, from mine too. Hollow Live. If not my favorite. Um, she, be she best. She best. But, you know, I, I watched her. You know, I watched her clips here and there, but I never really got sucked in. Um, and. <laughs> yeah, yeah Yubi Yubi! Oh, you be, I thought she was saying Yabai. I was like, how's that Yabai? No, <laughs> yes, you be, you be. Yes. Um, but I was just listening to music one day on YouTube and I'm just going through. And um, R.I.P. by Miss Calliope Mori showed up on my feed. And I listened to this like, holy crap, this song's awesome. I really like this. And I started listening to her other music. And I started listening to other music. And I just like, oh my God, I really like her. And I started watching her clips. And. You know, Callie. that's kind of the, that was the downfall. I, I started watching clips from Callie and from Kiara and Ina and Ame. Like Hollow Live En essentially is what it got yep. got me sucked in. Um, I had a friend who um, she still hasn't debuted yet because she's been gathering all of her assets. Um, you'll see with me interact. You'll see me interact with her frequently on Twitter. Uh, Aurelia Malasia, um, everybody's favorite jellyfish. Best. Um, we she i always talk to her a lot about it and actually she's one of the reasons she's one of the reasons to kind of push me to be a vtuber because i talked about oh, was you know it'd be so much fun she's like oh do it you know you'd love it and you know i kind of that's how i ended up becoming a, a vtuber here uh but with the vtuber community it's kind of i'm getting off topic here eh, totally fine um you know i haven't really interacted with a whole lot of the community i do have like you know a couple of vtuber friends here and there that i've talked to but like you know, I just kind of talk to them like normal, like they're a normal friend. Like it's not, you know, because they're a VTuber doesn't change the fact that, you know, I don't know. I, I mean, I've seen drama here and there, um, but, you know, I, I avoid drama like the plague. If I can, if I can not be involved in it, then I'm going to not be involved in it. Makes sense. You kind of should. Like the community, I feel like, thank you for the lurk. The community, I feel like, is that um, there's definitely some drama going on, but the VTuber community is such a big community that you can see it from afar and be like, nope, I'm going to stay in my little nice community bubble. I will chill here. And I think you should be totally fine with that. And it's just kind of interesting because I always like to hear people's like, personal opinions on it. Either people love the VTuber community because how welcoming they are. Two, they love their current community that they actually have the nice little bubble under. 
and some are so big that they can't do that and they have to be aware of what's going on with the community as a whole so it's really interesting to mm. hear all the different opinions on them i have definitely enjoyed how welcoming the community is i've made a lot of good friends or, you know i've made a lot of friends that I, I you know i've talked to quite frequently in dms um you know for example i've started talking to nuki a lot um in the past couple days um you know i talked to shiro from time to time shiro's cool shiro's great shiro's uh an absolute bean the best beans um you know i've gotten messaged for a couple by a couple different people for collabs from time to, you know starting recently actually um this friday they were supposed to be doing a among us among us collab among us collab do the among us i never played among us you never played among us never played among us i never had a, i never had a group a group of people to play with uh, so i, I played it play a few random. times it's 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 pretty funny i bet i bet i know i've always seen it and i've always always wanted to try it but i've just never been in a group of people I'll, i i can actually trust to actually do it and when i mean trust i mean like are they gonna kill me i know they're gonna kill me but like i'd rather be with people i know than to be oh with yeah no randoms. absolutely and yeah, I, I think I that's why it'll be a lot of fun to do a collab stream with a bunch of people. True. As a, if you guys want us to do one, I would like to be joined. I'd like to join. Um, only because I want to try it finally for once. My community wants me to play it so crazy, but I don't want to play with them. Because if I stream and they are playing it, they'll just see where I'm at and just kill me. Every True. single time. True. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll hit you up in DMs because I think we may be looking for one more person if you'd like to join us on Friday. I just gotta verify that with uh, the person I am collabing with. Depends on the time, because I do work uh, that day. Ooh, um, yeah, it's 7 p.m. EST. No, too so. Don't don't stab me, even with love, because love hurts. Love does hurt. Love does hurt. Um, but the plan is right now is for 7 p.m. EST. So I think oh, that's four o'clock your time. Wait, four o'clock? Yeah, I work f until six, so. Oof. Might be a little late. Just be in the right time zone. I I will I'll I'll go there right now then. I'll walk yeah, there, there you go. Yep. Perfect. Yep, I'll go there right now. Uh, but yeah, those that, you know that's my thoughts. Um, I really enjoyed how welcoming they've been. I've made a lot of good friends. <laughs> just move, God, it's easy. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, no, I, that's why I just did it right now. Now I'm in the right time zone. Oh, True perfect. friend stab from the front. <laughs> yes, is that what is like Cookie? True friend stab from. Are the you front. gonna Cookie? Are you gonna stab me from the front? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Snap, crackle, pop! It's literally, this is gonna happen <laughs> to you. But yeah, no, that'd be kind of fun. We'll see. I like, I like collabing with people. I think it's fun. I know that me and Nuki collabed and had some fun on the Genshin stream last week, and then next week I'm gonna be collabing with Shiro. So yeah, I like collabing. Collabing is fun. I've only done like the the couple collabs. The only real collab that I've done on my channel uh, is with when I played It Takes Two with Raimi. It's fun. How how did you guys like it? How did you guys like it? Uh, we got the trial version. Ended up being like a trial version on Xbox Game Pass, so we only got to play through the first level, or first Makes two sense. levels, or something like that. So it kind of sucked that we had to end it early, but it was fun. I really enjoyed it. That's cool. That's cool. I like it. I like it. Um. Well, keep up. Keep it up. Keep up. Do those collabs. Have some fun. Mm -hmm. Enjoy yourself. And do all the uwus, all the uwus, especially with Cookie around. <laughs> all right, so let's get into the next question, which is a pretty interesting question, and that is: Have you noticed any differences in since you first started streaming to compare to now? Uh, yeah. Um, I used to be a flesh tuber. True. true. <gasps> You're a fleshy? You used to be a fleshy like I, I me? I used to be a fleshy. I used to be a fleshy. Oh my god. You used to be a fleshy like me where you can actually touch your flesh and be like, oh my god, he's actually real. Canceled. Canceled? Oh my god. Oh no. Uh, yeah, I had to actually go through and delete all of my old clips because there was uh, evidence. Um, I mean, I don't know. Twitch seems Twitch is absolutely bigger from when I first started streaming. You know, the affiliate program yeah, wasn't... Right? even the affiliate program didn't even exist when i started streaming on twitch you know back in my day <laughs> back in my day oh you'll be on boom uh, over here yeah like i said back in my day we had to use a, a thing called game wisp to do any kind of subscription services to Games. a channel we didn't have uh follow emotes we didn't have <laughs> stop basically if you old <laughs> fake streamer fake streamer oh dang dang nozo no bully 
Uh, all right, Grandma. <laughs> you're older than I am. Oh, dang. Snap. Um. Yeah, no, it's just all, it's a lot different with the, all of the, oh my goodness. Wow. I think Nuki beats me then. Yep, Nuki is the oldest one over here. The, the senpai, the senpai of all of us. Senpai. Oh, <laughs> tap a gilf. Whoa. <laughs> that is, is Snap. Sus. Um, Snap. Uh, when I, you know, when I started streaming on Twitch, that, you know, it was a lot of. Uh, you know, when I started streaming on Twitch, a lot of it was there wasn't a lot of love for anybody that wasn't a Twitch partner. If you were a Twitch partner, they didn't give a shit about you. And <laughs> I mean, that's still, I mean, that's still, still doing. I mean, that's yeah. still kind of what it is. But like, yeah, you get you have resources as a Twitch affiliate. You know, you're able to do bits, you're able to do, e you know, emotes, follower emotes, cheer emotes, you know, all these things that you couldn't do if you weren't a partner. Um, and even when they introduced the affiliate system, there still wasn't much there was you had you could have subscribers and you could have what you know the original affiliate system was you got one sub emote that was it didn't matter how many subs you had you didn't get no matter how many sub points you had you only only got one emote and you didn't get you couldn't do sub badges you couldn't do um and they started doing cheering and that was something that affiliates couldn't do um a lot of it like i said a lot of it's just you know twitch is a very different place now that it used to be there's a lot more content creators on twitch especially after the pandemic a lot of content creators kind of popped oh, yeah. up makes sense now here's my question for you do you think do you think all the features that twitch has right now could be easily copied onto youtube uh yes and no but youtube doesn't care enough um they care about making money and that's it I mean, well, Twitch is kind of the same way. Yeah, no, I, I, I think everyone, every company is out there just wanting to make money, especially if they're a big company. Um, I don't know. Here, my my opinions on YouTube versus Twitch, uh, will ever be. I feel like it's easier to grow on Twitch than it is on YouTube, which is actually, really? um, wow, yes. So my my especially as a streamer, you know, a lot of the times they're like, I don't know. I feel like it's hard for the algorithm to notice you, especially if you're only streaming to YouTube. Um, see, see. Uh, I'm just trying to get reset here. Um, YouTube is more focused on the video content than the streaming. Yeah, exactly what Nuki said. Um, where Twitch, you know, if I'm looking for somebody playing a specific game, I can be like, oh, they're playing, you know, an example, Danganronpa. I did this the other day, Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. I was looking for somebody to raid that was playing through the game. Um, I looked for somebody who was playing the game joined them and i was like okay cool they're just getting through the first trial and i was easier i was able to find people playing the same game significantly easier especially the smaller content creators you know other than having to go through the streaming service and i just think the uh, the algorithm True. um benefits larger content creators um yeah they're trying to be like tiktok yep 100 and you know i i just prefer I may be biased because I've been with Twitch for longer, and um, I think the UI for Twitter is just, or for Twitch is just significantly nicer. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm also very biased. Uh, another reason is because I very much like the color purple. Uh, no, they're on with purple. <laughs> they're on purple. You know, we have purple, and I really, you know, I love the Twitch color, the Twitch purple. It's one of my favorite colors. No worries. As a, as a content creator myself, I try to do whatever it takes to see if I can get noticed a little bit more. So I try a lot of different things. I enjoy streaming on Twitch a lot more than YouTube. A lot of my fans actually left me because I, I focus all my streaming on Twitch and a lot of the fans I did make on YouTube left me because I stopped streaming on YouTube, which is sad. But I will definitely say that I do prefer you uh, Twitch, you Twitch streaming over than YouTube streaming. But I know for Twitch, especially when you're small, it's extremely hard to get people to come on your streams. While on YouTube, I feel like I get more people checking out my streams a little bit more. But that's more a personal thing for me. But I have been focusing on most of my content on YouTube with my uh, shorts. On a lot of my shorts. I put a lot of shorts. And the great thing about YouTube shorts is that they're the exact same thing you can put on uh, TikTok. 
So I literally take the same video, post it on both, and I try and bridge that community together. What about your jeans? Yeah, I, oh yeah, you just, I just realized <laughs> I left my clothes in the dryer. Um, but yeah, no, for like, I don't know. I thought about doing TikToks as well. Um, it's a hurt. I uh, think I think TikTok is really big for the VTuber. Like, I think even the very... smallest. Yeah, I think like if you want to grow really quickly, uh, TikTok is where where it's at. Yeah. Um, but I mean, for YouTube, like I would rather have my vods and I'd rather have compilations uh up on youtube versus on you know i like i would definitely prefer having um you know my streams on twitch i'll have my vods on youtube i've actually been doing that um i've been uploading all of my danganronpa vods to youtube do it um do it. and that is something that i've been doing um you know i'm not even doing it for the fact that i want to you know grow on youtube and i want to get popularity on youtube i do it primarily for the fact that I just want to be able to go back and watch these VODs and be like, ah, yeah, that's how I reacted. Um, mm -hmm. I just thought it was something that'd be really cool to do. No, I agree. Because those, those videos stay on there forever. Pretty much. And eventually I'd like to do some clip compilations and whatnot. No, I agree. I agree. Okay. Well, I like these answers. These are really good. Legit answers. And I think we go on to another fun tangent and friggin' cookie trying to get me to do auto auto don you okay well so i have to do auto auto uh would you like to do auto auto with me ada, ada. Oh, see, you're na see you're natural doing this i'm i'm noob i'm baby <laughs> I'm baby at this all right l rate my auto auto i i'm not the best at it i'm still pressing okay auto auto I'm trying. I'm practicing. I'm practicing. Trying to get better. At uh, it. I'll, I'll, give it like, I'll give it a solid six out of ten. Six out of ten. Pretty good. Okay. Pretty good. 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 <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. It sounds like a JoJo. <laughs> out of it. Yeah, <laughs> I get that a lot. Jo Are oh, you just oh, a JoJo? Yeah. I am a JoJo reference. I tried to be a JoJo reference. It doesn't work out very well. I'm not buff enough. When goes to Trico? Yay! You you are approaching me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you for the odd odd. I much like it. Is that what I mo if JoJo reference? Hello again. Is that dude. a motherfucking JoJo reference? What? We'd be proud of you doing yoga. I know. I need to do more workouts. I need to do more workouts. I need to get more buff. Like a buff. So that when I see you guys in Anime Expo, I can be like, like you all are nice and buff. And like, yeah, Jokes on you. I'm not going to Anime Expo. <gasps> no! Well, it's okay. It's okay. That's I, on the other I, side of the country. That's work. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's that's near me. That's like about two hours away, so I'm I'm cool with going. I got plenty of cons in my area that I'm attending this year. Do I got to tell send, anybody? Send pictures. Oh, probably not. Wait, no, oh no, I can send pictures, but uh, we'll see. I, 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 I don't know if I'm gonna. Cool. I don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna send pictures because you know I like to keep the immersion that. Um, you mean the? I, you I like I like the idol. VTuber immersion. The idol. You need to be the idol. I actually I have been talking with some friends who have played Dung and Rampa about doing a Trick or Happy Havoc cosplay group. Um, Do it. <laughs> I I wonder who you gonna play as. Hmm. So actually, hmm. well, yeah, you know. Hmm. hmm. I mean, I had a few people that I wanted to cosplay. Hey, um, Sayaka was one of them. Uh, Chihiro felt a little bit too on the nose, so I. <laughs> <laughs> um. So for me, but right now it's technically uh, for me, it's between Sayaka and um, Kyoko. Uh, but I'm definitely leaning more towards Kyoko at this current time. I can see that. I can see that. Definitely. I think it would be very fun to cosplay um, Junko, but with all the spears sticking out of her. Yeah, just walk around with your mouth all blended up into the spears. Inside yeah, like, exactly. Uh... Well, that'd be interesting to see. That'd definitely be interesting to see. Kyoko? Kyoko Kirigiri. 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 Uh, as I said on stream, she can name. beg me. Well, yeah, 100%. No, definitely not wrong. I just love her last name, though. It's really good. <laughs> Alright, so I need to go and fill up my water. So what, what I'd like you to do, if you don't mind, is just entertain chat for a little bit. And make sure chat doesn't do anything, because I have tried to clean up so much mess from this stage. I'm still, like, watch your step, by the way. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of things on the floor I need to clean up. So make sure chat doesn't mess with anything. Sounds good? I uh, yeah. 
Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Good to hear. Wink. I, I, tr I trust you. I totally didn't see that, that wink. Mistake. Totally didn't see that wink. And I will <laughs> see you in a second. Do not mess it up in things. Okay? Okay. Promise. All right, chat. He's gone. Come on. Let's create Kaze. Uh, it's spelled with a Y. It's uh, it's just Kyoko. Uh, it's not Kyoko like yours. Uh, it's spelled K Y O K O, I believe. Like that. Kyoko Kirigiri. I mean, Kyoko is a pretty common. It's you know, it's not the first time I've heard that name. There's a girl in D four DJ named Kyoko. Her name is Kyoko Yamate. Uh, but definitely on looking at, I uh, have been already looking at Kirigiri cosplays. Let's find a secret loot collection when he's gone. All right, bet. Kiwi Giwi. Ooh, woo. My name is Kyoko Kiwi Giwi. <laughs> Do something? Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna stare into your soul chat. <laughs> or even better, I could just go. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> the child stare, the Tartaglia stare. Oh, Listen my God. Up, Hello. Uh, Listen hi. up, y'all. This is it. The beat is so tartag. <laughs> Fuck, I don't remember how it goes. Tartagalicious definition makes the girls go loco. Wow. Okay, well, go for it. Like, raise the roof. Do it. Have you not heard that? No, never. Uh, Child's uh, Tartaglia's voice actor is an absolute menace to society. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Um... There we go. Let's fix that a little bit better. <laughs> this up you, up to you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he did a cover of uh, Fergalicious called Tartagalicious. <laughs> I have to do that. All right. Most hardest question you will ever hear in your entire life. Bah. Are you ready? Hi. Good answer. Now, here's another question for you. So, are you ready for this amazingly hard question? I'm ready. What's your favorite video game or video game franchise? You know, I, you say that, like, you said it was like, oh, that's an easy one. Um, That's actually not as easy as you think. No, no. I no, Anyone thinks that I'm about to give them, like, a super easy question? No, it's legit. It's a good question. Especially for gamers. That is... Yeah, that is a ooh, that's a tough one. Um, you know, I want to learn. Can't take the she hard take questions. Some hard question. <laughs> take them hard questions. Only with you, Cookie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um. Whoa. Rage Shadow no, Legends. Not Rage Shadow Legends. Did you actually uh, get sponsored by them? I did get sponsored by Rage Shadow Legends. Let's go for it. Did I did, you, I did like, get an offer. To, did you reach out to them, or did they reach out to you? Uh, they reached out to me about it, actually. Really? Dude. Awesome. You're now a true streamer. You're now a true Well, from creator. what I've been told is they kind of reach out to everybody. Uh, they reach out to a lot of people through stream elements um, and kind of just message them. I, I, just like, I haven't gotten... I haven't gotten... Out <laughs> yet. Um, what was I saying? Uh, I, my favorite video game or video game franchise... You know, I think I'm gonna have to say for my favorite video game, it's a it's kind of a tie before between uh, Persona Five and Fire Emblem Three Houses. Persona um, Five is really good. I really like Persona Five. Persona Five was my first Persona game. Um, you know, I'm a my biggest draw to a video game, other than the characters and stories, is always gonna be the soundtrack. Yeah. If in the fact, game has a banging soundtrack, I'm probably going to enjoy the game. And Persona 5 just blew me out of the water with the soundtrack. So good. Actually, right now, people are listening to the soundtrack as we speak. Um, my my background noise is actually the rainy day beneath the mask. <laughs> nice. Nice. Good choice. Good choice. Muse Dash. Um, Muse Dash has good music, too. 
I also played a lot through. I you know I played through Persona uh, uh, Persona Three Portable already. Go for it. Uh, I very much enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, Fire Emblem Three Houses, fantastic game. You know, story. I, I love a good story, character building, stuff like that. And that's why I'm really enjoying Dog and Rod. But like the music is absolutely, it's it's so good. So good. That's why I say you should play the Thirteen Sentinels. I think you might like that one too. Yeah, I'll definitely put that on my list of things to play. Love them outfits. Yes, the dim outfits on Moose Dash. I'm just not a rhythm person, so I wouldn't be able to play them too much. Oh, I love rhythm games. I, suck at rhythm uh, I games. play them all the time. Whenever I go to the round one, um, that's pretty much what I play exclusively. Round one. Yes, I like the round one. That is a good one. You, I feel like if you ever do bar hopping, you have to start at round one. Round one. Fight. What? I like it. I like it. Do, 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 do. Cool, I like it, like it. Now, here's another really nice, fun, difficult question for you. If you could live in any video game world, which world would it be? It could also be anime world, too. Oh, anime world, too? Oh, that's a tough one. Oh, no, it could be. It could be. You choose one or the other. Hmm. Or both of you liked it. Well, Hold I look on, at my favorite games, and I gotta say, absolutely not. Um, I would not want to be in the... Uh, maybe Persona. Persona, Persona would, would be, be bad. okay. Persona like, wouldn't be bad. Love Live. You know, that'd be a cool game to be living. So I uh, so I am a, for, for those who do know me, I am a very big Love Live stan. Um, Who's your favorite one? Uh, my favorite, I, I have a favorite from all of the girls, you know, from all the groups. Um, my number one is uh, Maki from uh, Muse. My number one will forever be her. Um, but, you okay. know, I'm very avid. Uh, Yoshiko Tsushimiya from uh, Sunshine. And Rina Tanoji from Nijigasaki and Kanan Shibuya from uh, Liela. Uh, I'm a very I love Love Live. I love Bandori. Um, I love D4DJ. Cool. Um, all awesome. those games. Are. Um, but if I had to pick one to live in, you know, I think I'd honestly have to learn lean toward Pokemon. You know, I, I I've been a you know a big avid Pokemon player since I was you know a wee little AI. Um, a little Eli, where you just a little sheep. I'm uh, just a little sheep. I, I'm a very big Pokemon fan. Uh, my Pokemans. first games being Pokemon Silver um, Ooh, and Pokemon Leaf one. Green. Uh, just being able to live in the Pokemon world, be a Pokemon trainer, just travel the world with next to no worries. You know, just sounds fantastic. No, no, I would love living in Pokemon world. That's like my ideal place to go into. I will catch all the ghost types. All the ghost types will be with me. Okay, can you guess what my favorite type of Pokemon is? Poison? It is not poison. Oh, well, that'd be your jam. I don't know why. I, I do enjoy poison. <laughs> water is not. Nope. No, definitely not water. Uh, would it be ghost? Would it be ghost? Ghost is my number two. Ghost is my number two. Uh, dark? No. Fairy? It is fairy. Ah, oh, this is a fairy. Oh, okay, okay. Is it Ditto? Yes, Ditto. The <laughs> it, best one. No, is it Dio? Oh, Dio. Is Dio? Uh, you oh, thought yeah, my favorite speaking... Pokemon was a Pokemon, but no, it was I, Dio. No, speaking of, uh, you know, I got a question for you real quick. Uh, you oh, know, what's your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is Gengar. I love Gengar. Gengar. Gengar's a very great Pokemon. My Pokemon yeah, is uh, my favorite Pokemon is uh, number five ninety one. Oh, he even knows the number. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me? Can you tell me what the number five ninety one Pokemon is? Yeah, I have no idea. I only know like from the one to like ten, one hundred and ten. I am the first gen kind of person. I don't know any of the other Pokemon outside of that. Uh, is it uh, uh, is it one of the new Pokemon that come out recently? It is a Pokemon from Gen five. That does not help me out at all. <laughs> Here, I'll just send you a picture. Okay, cool. Probably don't even know who this Pokemon is. Oh, really? Really? No, not actually. <laughs> really? <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Pokemon 591 is Amoongus, which sounds like Amoongus. Amoongus. <laughs> and no, he's, a Pokemon, favorite, he's a mushroom. He's a mushroom. Of course you would like a mushroom. <laughs> of Amongus. course you want Among it. Amoongus um, mushroom. My favorite Pokemon is actually Gardevoir. Um, oh, Gardevoir. Specifically, right. Mega Gardevoir. I like it. I like it. It's freaking trubbish. Trubbish. <laughs> it trubbish. is not trubbish. 
Trumpet yeah, Gardevoir is my uh, Gardevoir is my favorite Pokemon. Gardevoir is pretty good. Gengar is pretty good too. Awesome, I can like it. All right, cool, cool. All right, so how about this? If you could collab with any VTuber, no matter how big or small, who would it be? Uh, I gotta go. I got. I got a couple people that I would die if I they offered to collab with me. Um, you know, and that would be you know. Uh, Kalaipi Mori, obviously, you know, the, the one that got me into this. Also, I just think it'd be really funny to bounce the chaotic loot energy that I have off of her trying to be say-so energy. That's funny. Um, you know, <laughs> doing a collab with uh, Korone would also be hilarious from the Korone little bit would of be Japanese. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> it would be just, it would be, it would just be really funny. Um, and another vtuber that i i enjoy i enjoy just because of how chaotic she is like she is like i people will be like oh you're chaotic you're chaotic like i am not as chaotic as this person and i don't know if you know who this is but um chibi doki i do not i'm i'm terrible with names so maybe i've seen him uh let's figure this funny there you oh. go i think i've seen her on twitter on tiktok uh yeah, so she's absolutely freaking chaotic. Do it, do it. Probably some name I know. <laughs> wow, you actually know him? Of course, Doc, you would know him. No, no, I think that'd be uh, kinda cool. Yeah, those are those are my big three. Um for you know, for big ones, but you know, I also have you know, normal, you know, smaller VTubers. I I'd love to club with pretty much any VTuber, um you know, that I you know we should that my energy melds with melds well with. Well, I definitely believe that there's probably some people in chat right now who would love to collab with you. What are you trying to say, Trico? What do you mean? I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so we're go coming down to the wire of the last bits of questions. And then we'll get into the chat's questions. Are you worried that the chat is going to ask you some sussy questions? Uh, I know a good portion of chat, so that's a good question. All right, that's a good question. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Well, the next question I would like to ask you is any current goals for stream? Uh, yeah, actually, I kind of went over my goals um, in my debut stream on February on the 27th. Um, the big ones, obviously, you know, a big goal of every Twitch streamer is to become partnered um, on Twitch. Um, you know, just having that that sense of community and having a lot of people that enjoy showing up and watching you. You know, I don't think this is something I mentioned when I was like, you know, why I became a streamer. Um, you know, I, I went through a lot of, this is kind of actually backtracking to another question. You know, I, I've gone through a couple of dark periods in my time, you know, my life, um, where I needed to really just need, I just was struggling, um, you know, and I'd watch a certain content creator and it would just make my day better. Um, and you know, the end goal for me is to be able to do that for people, no matter how small the community is, just being able to sit down play a game be who i am and just be able to make people's day a little bit better especially if they're going through a hard time um it, it it's it's just the tldr like that's the that's the end goal that i wanted to do um but i guess the goal is to be able to be saying hey you know this is who i am and you know oh i you know was going through a dark time and you know watching you really helped and just that hearing that kind of sense of you know gives you the sense of pride that knowing that you were able to help somebody because you were just the way you are um but i guess oh. in terms of uh in, in terms of goals other than that you know obviously becoming a twitch streamer um i would love to put out my my own personal single that i've written you know for a song like kind of like rain's doing you know i'm doing a collab song with her and mom um but i'd love to be able to do my own um, that's, that's a goal of mine. You know, I'd like to also put out covers from time to time. I have two planned that I already started recording for one. Where it's going to go, we're going to see. Um, and all around, kind of just have a good time here on Twitch. And, you know, make a lot of new friends and connect with people that I normally wouldn't connect with. No, I agree. 
like I didn't want to I didn't want to interrupt that at all because that was super wholesome and super adorable. And I liked that a lot. And also the music that was playing in the background actually fitted way too well. Um, but yeah, no, it was really good. No, oh, I like that. That's a really good thing to have as a streamer is that you want to be that person people can come up to and like feel a little bit better about that day as they end. Yeah, really and good. um, you know, I've even talked to some of my other streamer friends about it when you know when they. When they're going through a tough time, they're like, hey, you know, just come hang out. You know, if you got the energy, come hang out. You know, I'll be there for you. I'll always have a conversation with you. You know, if you need to talk, I'll, I'm here for you to talk. Obviously, don't come in like information dump me in the middle of a stream. Like, but like, you know, yep. talk to me, you know, you know. Like, I don't know how else to like explain it. You don't need to explain um, anymore. You're doing a great job, just the way it is. You don't need to elaborate. We get you. We get what you're trying yeah, to say, and we yeah, think yeah. it's really good. I think it's good. You don't have to say anymore. We like what you're doing, and I think everyone here in chat, everyone here in chat, all appreciates you being amazing and doing what you're doing is just perfectly fine enough. The most wholesome reason for the least wholesome streamer. Yep, that's how it works. That's how it works. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All the best, all the best. Cool. Hey, are you ready for the last question of the night? Last question right. of the night! That's not the question. Yes, are you ready? I'm ready. The question is, what advice do you have for those who might want to get into streaming? Or VTuber? So, I've actually <laughs> used it. I, I guess sus, so I am kind of sussy. So sus. So, 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 um, so, I've actually told this to a couple of my friends. Um, you know, I won't say names because, you know, they've had this. Some, they've gone, had some some dark you know they've been going through some depressive episodes and stuff like that but stream like nobody's watching um you know when you're streaming don't let viewer count get to you just because you're doing well one stream doesn't mean you're necessarily going to do well the other you know these people have you know people have lives they don't other than you know watching your stream yeah it kind of sucks when you have uh, you know a regular that doesn't show up or your moderator for whatever reason is busy and they can't make it but you know you just got to keep in mind that you know you will get there eventually you know the number that you see there it's just a number you know it, it's sometimes it'll be difficult when there's no chat interaction like uh you know but you kind of just got to talk to yourself um it, it's something that i've you know stressed that a you know attended a couple twitch panels um, at cons, like streaming panels at cons, and it's something that they, you know, I've talked about a couple times. Um, but definitely the biggest, my biggest advice is stream like nobody's watching. Don't worry about your numbers. Do it because you're enjoying it. Don't do it yep. because it's, uh, do it because it's a hobby and you, you have fun with it. Don't do it because you're trying to get to a goal to, um, make it a job. Because if you try to make it a job and you're not successful, then it's only going to stress you out more and make you more upset and burn you out. Um, I actually had a friend. Um, again, I won't use names because they've switched their, their Twitch name. Um, but they streamed a lot and they wanted to make it their job and they burnt themselves out. And they gave it a year, two year, year and a half, two years. They came back and they're doing so much better now. They're having so much fun streaming because they're doing it as something on the side. It's something they're like, yes, I'd love to hit Twitch Partner. Be cool. But I don't need to hit Twitch partner. It's not something I have to do. Um, you know, it's you're gonna burn yourself out and make yourself not want to stream on Twitch anymore if you try to force it to be a job rather than a hobby. I agree. I agree. I understand. Sage mode activated. Sage <laughs> I have. Mode. I've been streaming for a while. I have a lot of wisdom when it comes to streaming, which is really cool. I might have to ask you for some tips myself. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Well, that's all the questions I have for you. Thank you for spending, uh, uh, giving me your time and working with me and answering all 15 of my questions. Thank you so much. I much appreciate it. Yeah, of course. So now it's up to you, chat. This chat is now your time. It's your time to shine. Would you guys like to ask a lovely succubus sheep? VTuber over here, some questions that you're burning to ask. It could be anything. It could be about anything at all. No limits. You know, like the worst it could get is what kind of condiments you want on your hot dog. Right? That's uh, the worst. Ketchup, ketchup and mustard. 
Yeah, see, uh, that's the worst you'll get, probably, probably. How do and you if you guys about trick or treat, you suck at the trick. Wait, what? <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, the other night, uh, what was Wait, it what? last night that I po I popped into your stream, and uh, Klee asked what a succubus does. Bro, oh uh, yeah, uh, I forgot about that one. Uh, uh, why yeah, is your you character a girl? Uh, because I am a girl. Actually, I'm an Eldritch Bump. No, uh, <laughs> actually, I'm, a, I'm an AI. Actually, I'm an AI. Um, gender. I, I transcend. Transcend I gender. Transcend. I am uh, now a god. But yeah. I go by she, her, and those are the pronouns that I pretend to, prefer to use. Yep, yep. Uh, pizza or pasta? Pizza, hands down. Pizza, pizza. Next question. How would you, how would you, you rate yourself on the table? One <laughs> if you sit on the table with, with your AI dumpy face, that's a good question. <laughs> so, Would you ever join the Muzon clan? Uh, are we uh, talking like Demon Slayer Muzon clan? Like, am I getting turned into a demon? A demon. You're going to be a is Muzon that, is that demon. that what's happening? That's pretty much what he's saying. Oh, oh wait, no. It's oh, okay. his clan. I think it's his clan, which I don't think is as strong. Maybe. Oh. Uh, you know, maybe. You know, I don't really play a lot of competitive games. Um, no, I have. I try to avoid competitive games. It's very strong. Very strong, very strong. Uh, the automaton, hands down. Next question. Next question. Go. Next question. <laughs> and if you guys want, if you guys want to, there's also spin the wheel question. Are if there... you guys want to redeem for spinning the wheel, if you don't have any questions. Are there more doors or wheels in the world? Uh, wheels. Favorite rhythm game. Um, what is the name of it? Oh my god! This everybody's redeeming to spin the wheel. Hang on, I gotta find the name of the because I've been playing the rhythm game at round one, and I play it every single time I get there because it's the first thing I do when I get there. Um, I gotta find the name of it. Um, um, I have a picture of it. What's it called? Uh, you have a lot of spin in the wheel. Waka, that's Waka, what it's called. Waka. Waka. Yeah, Waka. 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 Cool. Well, we have a lot of spin in the wheel, so we're definitely gonna go ham on that for a little bit. Uh, what's it waka, look waka, like? Waka, waka, yeah. waka, waka, waka. Uh, it's a big circle. Ah, I'm guessing one know what it is. But here's my wheel! So look at that. There's a big giant wheel right in front of you. Okay. I see the wheel. Cool. So we're going to spin a couple times and you'll be answering a lot of the questions. Are you ready for it? Uh, yeah. No, you, you slap, slap Waka. That's true. Slap. You do slap Waka. You waka slap is the a waka. game that you do slap. Slap it. Slap it. Favorite anime? Uh, Love Live, Nijigasaki School Idol Club, or uh, for Slice of Life, or for Fantasy, it would be Konosuba. Uh, Konosuba is busting on this wonderful I love, world. I love, I love Konosuba. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like that. I like that. Hannah Hydrate, uh, are you ready to drink some water while we go and spin the wheel again? Mm hmm. Ah, hydrate. It, it is not demon. Diamond is unsta unbreakable. Diamond is unbreakable. You're right. Part four was not my favorite. Part two is my favorite. Got the, we got the same question. We'll spin it again. Battle attendees. Uh, another kind of VTuber. So I like to ask this question to VTubers. So if you could have chosen to not be a sheep slash succubus, what other kind of VTuber would you want to be? Um, so I actually went through a couple designs um, when I first looked, started looking into becoming a VTuber. Uh, I bounced these eyes, I, again, backing up to my my jelly friend, uh, Aurelia. I bounced a lot of my ideas about, back off of her. Um, it started as a cat. I was going to be a cat. I was going to be yeah. a cat girl. I was going to be a pink-haired, blue-eyed cat girl, and you can see the problem with that. Yes, um, I see that. <laughs> uh, and then it was a bunny. I was going to be a rabbit. I was going to be a bunny girl. I can see that. And then I was going to be a deer, like sucrose. That would be kind of cool. Uh, and then it kind of landed on sheep um, because I found this. <laughs> as I put on my a thing, uh, you know, a lot, one of my designs, the idea that I found, um, I found fan art of a pink Ganyu. Like Ganyu, just recolored to be pink with pink hair and pink eyes. I was like, oh my God, this is adorable. I love this. It was like, I kind of just ran with that. Now, Ganyu is an amazing design. I really like Ganyu's design. Ganyu is very pretty. Very pretty. Best wife. Best wife. Well, not the best wife, but one of the best wifes. Gotta love her. So good. So good. 
Alright, um... Double question at the same time. Satama. Do you know anyone who could beat Satama? Anybody that could beat Saitama. Yeah. Do you know anyone who would be able to beat Saitama? Of course, David. <laughs> Who's on? Me. Me. Uh, hang on, I gotta think about this one. See, I've watched One Punch Man, and I know what he's capable of. Um. But Ed from the pebble in the in his <laughs> With stone. the pebble in his shoe. Do Ed? No, oh Ed. <laughs> he he's scary when his pebble in the shoe. You you do not want to mess with him. Yeah, that'd be pretty terrifying. Um, hmm. Infection. For Saitama, that's Infection. like that's really tough. Um, just because you know, I know what he's 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 very strong, boy. Rolf. Strong wolf. <laughs> wolf. Hello, Saitama boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Alucard. <laughs> Alucard. That would be cool. That would be cool. From Helsing. That Alucard from cool. Helsing. That would be an interesting fight to watch. I would watch that. Absolutely. Um, Dinko, me with two guns. Maybe, maybe could could Dio win? Could he could just stop time and just cut his head off? He could. I don't think uh, Satama can do time travel or time anything. I would definitely say Alucard or Dio. I think that's the two that I would go with. I like that. Those are good ones. Those are good ones. I haven't heard those ones in a while. Ada Ada. You want to go for an Ada Ada? Ada Ada. O kawaii koto. Adds a little nice flair at the end. I like it. I like it. Can you do the Konosuba? Not Konosuba. Can you do Love Love is War? Uh, O kawaii. Oh, like, all cute. What was that one? The... That's what I. That's what I was saying. O kawaii koto. Oh, koto. Yeah, that's what I, I knew. It sounded familiar. O kawaii koto. Oh snap! Oh snap! That's actually the the uh, the smug art that I have as my profile picture on Twitch and on Twitter uh, is actually inspired from Kaguya. Yes, Kaguya is great. I'm looking forward to the third season, which is going to be pretty Me crazy. Too. Say the uh, funny Rohan line. Daga kotowaru. Oh snap! Say the funny line. I love the line. Uh, Superman. Who do you think can defeat Superman? Saitama. Okay, there you go. <laughs> that's easy enough. That's easy enough. Can, can I? Can I? Can I start a controversial one? Just say Goku. Just Goku. Start a I would say. That. Just start a I war. Was, I still think. I still think Goku could beat uh, Superman. I still like that. Easy, easy. Um, easy, unknown, easy. Unknown talent. Do you have an unknown talent that not that many people know about? Your friends probably know about it, but I won't know. Um, I'll give you two because one of them is Goku's actually mid. really a talent. Cookie I can like... turn pretty much <laughs> Goku is mid. <laughs> oh snap. That's, that's constant uh, right there. I mean I agree. I like Vegeta. I'm based. I like Vegeta more a lot more too, but I would say they whoa, Cookie starting up fires over here. Um I can turn pretty much every conversation just lewd and make everybody uncomfortable because and by that I mean like, you know, I'll be hanging out with Rainy as a very example. Yeah. Rainy will say something that has nothing to do with being looted, and I'll just be, she'll be like, um... That's what she said. <laughs> what? Is that, what about is that this a clip? Talent? I think that's a clip. <laughs> it Vegeta is, is the hype. It is the hype, the best of hypes. Um, you know, I can do certain voices, um, you know, from a bridge series, nothing... I'm not, I'm not anywhere, like, Nuki, where... Um, but there's a couple voices that I can do. Want to try? Uh, that's a good question. Do I want to try? <laughs> you don't have to if you don't want to. You already answered the question with oh, uh, taking take anything out of context and make it a lead. I, I mean, I also the, you know the, the, the voice acting is something that I you know I I did aspire Stop. to be a voice actor Stop. growing up. <laughs> uh, but I watched a lot of a bridge series. Um, I did up. too. That was a big thing. I, I actually. Was at karaoke with a couple of friends, mm -hmm. and I sang. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. I do. I am very familiar. Okay, so do you know the song "Leather Pants"? Yes. Um, I may Leather have sang <laughs> "Leather Pants." <laughs> Go for it. <clears throat> oh, I'm not singing. Absolutely not. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I know. But that is something I, that I did do. That'd be cool. That'd be cool to see. I I just I I love I love the Bridge series for like Yu-Gi-Oh. 
Like, uh, I will the always remember, like, like, screw the rules, I have money. I love it. I love it. Oh, you're the freeze line. I'm not, damn it, I'm never going to get my hokey. Wow, that's a really good uh, Krillin. That's a really good cr Krillin. Machina. Ah, Nappa. <laughs> that's also I'm a really good one. You. No ah! green. No <laughs> green. I love that, the hoagie. I hey, love, I love... Cell, how's your bussy? Wow, that's actually really legit. That's actually really good. The Frieza one. Oh my god, that's actually pretty darn good. My name is Dende. <laughs> wow, wow. Th oh this... god, natural light. <laughs> I like these. These are really good. Like, the, that's actually pretty, pretty spot on. I'm sorry, my what? <laughs> I can't do the cell as well as other ones. Cell, cell's difficult. Cell's definitely difficult. Nell. Nell. Hey, he's like, ah. Don't take his coat. <laughs> Don't take his coat. <laughs> Iconic. It's so good. I love it. You're really good at that, actually. Actually, he's really pr impressive. Uh, what other ones was I able to do? <laughs> to get cells down, you'd be absolutely perfect. <laughs> perfect? Perfect, you say? Almost like perfect. Um, song. so Fuds, uh, my alerts for my Twitch stream when I first started streaming were all uh, Dragon Ball abridged. Nice. I like it. My follower alert was I am the hype. I am the hype. <laughs> I hey, guys! I can't. <sighs> Vegeta's hard. Vegeta's hard. Vegeta's, too. Vegeta's hard. Isn't the voice for Vegeta the same as Cell? I can't remember. I could be wrong, though. Um, I can't remember who does him. Ken was already here. I love Ken. Awesome. I'm a Deku in the Schnoz. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a new one. Who are you again? <laughs> I I love the interactions with Frieza and Goku. They're adorable together. I am. I'm Goku. I'm insane. From Earth. <laughs> he means <laughs> Saiyan. <laughs> I mean, uh. say it. Uh, uh from Earth. Earth. <laughs> from Earth. What uh, was that? Broly. Broly. Come back, magic man. My voice gives me super strength. Oh, cool. You, so you, you got uh Joey. That's awesome. That was Tristan. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're right. Tristan. I'm so dumb. Yeah, you're right. I My love voice Tristan. Gives me the he My voice gives me the power to defy gravity. <laughs> Yeah, come on, Yug. Ah, okay, that's Joey. Yes. Friendship. That's that's the girl, Taya. Taya. Yeah. <laughs> uh, try. I try to guess all your names. Uh. <clears throat> Makora. Oh yeah. It is that's... time for us to take our revenge once and for all. Merrick. Mer Merrick, right? Mer Merrick. Oh, yeah, Merrick. Merrick. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. I love Dragon Ball Z Bridge. So good. Dude, Jaden. Do you know Jaden? Yeah. Ah, oh, pimp slap like a mofo. Hey, <laughs> that's actually really good. Oh, my God. Wow. What, Dimitri summoned this? Uh, yeah, because he's an idiot. <laughs> I love it. I love it. These are pretty good voices. For someone who says that you're not that great voices, these are pretty spot on. Uh, I also saw Nuki do this earlier, um, <laughs> and I had to do it too. Ohana means family. Oh. Family means more brother that's left behind or forgotten. Oh, snap. <laughs> that's some stitch. I love the stitch. The best of stitch. <laughs> the best of stitch. Cool. Uh, wow. I can't sing. Stitch, Stitch. Uh, that's some pretty good ones. Now, have you ever thought about like taking that voice and making them say something different? What was like, that a little shit? <laughs> yep, exactly. Like I was saying, you can make them all, all those voices, you can make them all sound lewd. Combine your talents together. Hey, Makora, I'm going to take my shirt off. <laughs> oh, snap. Does he and have then to, like... take my pants. I want to speak Ooh. with your pants. Excuse me, I'd like to speak to your manager, please. <laughs> oh, I would I like. To, I am the manager here. How can I help you? Yeah, see, like, perfect. You can have a a full on conversation with everyone. <laughs> just everyone's going. Vegeta, be I don't think they're very happy with us, Vegeta. <laughs> these are good. These are golden. I love these. 
Hey, Cell, how was your bussy? My <laughs> what? My what? I love it. You'll never be lonely. You have all your friends. Exactly. That's the that's the great thing about being a voice actor, right? Voice actress, is that you can voice all these characters, and then you never feel lonely. Kyle, what? No, seriously, Kyle, what? Yeah, Kyle, Kyle crap. What? Not so. <laughs> Not so. <laughs> what the? F uh, I just remember this. All right, all right. Let's spin the wheel some more. Because we can, we can oh. go on your voices forever. I love them. <laughs> That's a good talent. I like that. That's really good talent. Uh, favorite Pokemon? I think we already talked about this. Gardevoir. Uh, yeah, Gardevoir. Gardevoir, Gengar, Sylveon. Feel, well, good job. Good job. I think mine would just be like Gengar, Alexam, and Mimikyu. Love Mimikyu. Mom, I love Mimikyu. So adorable. Special Summon Red Layer Response. Uh, we'll go to. Uh, do you have the space connector? If do, if so, we will go to game two. What? Uh, so some of these people, some people know this about me, but I, I am an avid player of the children's card game Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, go for it. Uh, and that is one of the games that I do play competitively. Oh, you you draw the hot of the cards. For the Yu-Gi bands. Yu-Gi bands. Do the Yu-Gi bands. I go for it. That's actually pretty interesting. I used to like play a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh when I was a lot younger, but I couldn't get into it as I got older. And now the the rules are too crazy for me. Now there's like switch summons and synchro summons. Like, I was just trying to learn how fusion worked back in the day. I did not understand I, how all the other stuff goes. I played Yu-Gi-Oh competitively from about 2011 to 2014. Uh, took a break, came back in 2018 for a little bit. Left again, and I started again back in 2020. Um, and I've been playing competitively since. Hmm. Pendulum doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, oh, I figured it out, but I still, it's, it's still confusing. It sounds weird. Like, I know, I, I, I'm good. You guys can stay on your motorcycles and keep playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm going to go over here and not Going spend. fast makes me <laughs> feel alive. Hey, look, you're singing. There you go. You sing. I know. You're okay, Dark. I I used to ride my bike to work um, over the summer when I worked at a summer camp, and it was about four miles uphill in the morning. But on the way home, it was four miles downhill, so I'd ride my bike and sing the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds opening. Around speed of sound. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow your rainbow. I feel like around. you're a good singer without autotune. Eh... I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, chat, can we get a poll? Can we get a poll, maybe? <laughs> good singer voice? I think that's a pretty good singer voice. I don't know. I know Cookie's still here, uh, but Cookie's still here. You can make up a poll. I think you're actually a pretty good singer, just from the little bit of you think you have. It sounds like you need more confidence. No confidence. No confidence. No confidence. Have confidence. Have confidence, dice. No confidence. No confidence. No, you should have confidence in yourself because, like, one of the reasons why we're doing this stream is because it's about you and pretty much just you. So you should have confidence in yourself to help just us talking about you. And you know what? Your voice is pretty great and your singing is really good. Just saying. Just saying. I'm pretty sure Chad can agree with me. Yep. There's our poll. There's our poll right here. Oh, there was a there's another voice that uh, I didn't get to do because it was something that I forgot existed. Protagonist. Protagonist. I, I love this guy. <laughs> Protagonist. I've come. Ew. Ew. <laughs> came to. I came, I came to, the to the city. I came. Oh, to the city. Oh. Ah ha 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 I uh, love it, love it. Alright, uh, more spins, because we had like 10 spins. And we got Superman again. Probably gonna, we're probably gonna go through all our questions on the wheel, to tell you the truth. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. You gotta get more questions on the wheel. I need to, I eventually. You gotta go fast, it makes you feel alive. No, because I'm not the one in control. I think we actually we went through a lot of these questions already. Are they even ten questions? I know. I need to maybe make up more questions and put on the wheel. I probably will have to put more questions on the wheel. So next time we do this, we'll probably have to put more. <laughs> I think we went through all our questions actually. I guess another unknown talent is I do play alto saxophone. 
Tatsu. Did you I do played that for... Sax for 13 years? Oh, dang. Marching band? I did what do marching it? band. I also did what, jazz band. What does what did what did Rain say in chat? Dragon? Dragon these nuts! Oh sorry, that's that's ah. part that's part of that. Oh snap. Sorry, I had I had to do it. I had to do it. So bad. So bad. <laughs> I, I had to. I had to. I had to. Okay, there is one question that's on here that is not allowing me to like click on, but we can just <laughs> ask it anyway. Embarrassing story. Do you have an embarrassing story that you have not told anyone? Embarrassing anyways? story. And um, it looks like six people are saying hell yeah that you're a good singer. I, by the way, by the way. <laughs> just saying. <sighs> an embarrassing story. All right. So I don't know how familiar you are with this is this is actually something that happened relatively recent. Um, I don't know how familiar you are with Genshin TikTok. Uh pretty pretty familiar. Um, are you familiar with the creator Adeline who does um, a lot of official videos, official and Bennett? She does a lot of voice acting videos. I might have joke. I might have seen it. Well, one of the jokes that Fischl has is that she says, "Well, I don't believe <laughs> orphans don't exist." Orphans don't exist. Orphans what? do. No, orphans do not exist. You are a fool. Okay, I do uh, remember that. So, Rainy and I went to meet up with one of our friends, or one of her friends who lives in the area where I am, um, that she had known for a couple years, and we met up for lunch. And she had mentioned something about, uh, her friend had mentioned something about orphans. Um... Now, me, being a one-track mind, immediately said, well, that can't be true because orphans aren't real. She then said to me, well, I was an orphan. Oh. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh, my God, this woman's paying for my... For, oh, my God, this woman's paying for my lunch, and I just told her orphans don't exist. That's a great first-time oh. meeting. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure they're not really happy about that with you. I mean, it, I, she, she was okay with it. Did you explain to her the joke? Did you explain the joke? Yeah, I explained to her the joke. Hey, good. But, like, it felt, it was like, oh my god, of course that's the it, the first thing I say. <laughs> I I really wish you actually did, like, the whole official pose. You were like, like, orphans, well, they I don't believe exist. orphans do not exist. You are a fool, her. Bennett, who believes orphans exist. And then she's like, I was an orphan. And you're like, uh, uh. Yeah, that's pretty much how I was, I was like, I, Ah, fuck. Uh, shoot. <laughs> it was like I was there. It was I was there. Orphans don't own <laughs> air horns. Yes, Do they you hear that, guys? Bennett does not own an air fryer. Oh, dang. I actually own an air fryer. It's actually really legit. I use my air fryer every single day. Almost every really? day. Pretty much, too. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to un life. On a, I'm going to un a life now. Bye -bye. Do you hear that? Nuki does not own an air fryer. <laughs> oh, dang. Actually, if anybody owns an air fryer, I'm sure Nuki owns an air fryer. Nuki, you own an air fryer, right? I'm pretty sure you do. You, you, if she you has the ability like to, if she has the ability to sous vide, she probably has the ability to do. She probably has an air fryer. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I'm pretty sure she does. Just waiting for her to be like, uh. <laughs> I feel sad. Don't worry, Doc. It's all good. It was a Christmas. It was a Christmas. Christmas. Ah, we do it. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love it. And both. Uh, well, hey guys. Do you have any more questions for the lovely succubus sheep? Any more questions? I, Ask her any questions. Bah. Bah, bah. Do you know about the secret? Stop. No. You stop that, Bujin. Oh, I don't know cereal anything about that. Cereal hot or cold milk. Uh, oh, yes, on true. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What do you, do you normally have your cereal, normally, with hot milk or cold milk? Uh, Cold milk. Cool. That's all we need now. Thank you so much. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Are you cute? No. I, I don't know. For like no reason. I put googly eyes in the air fryer. I love that. <laughs> do it, do it. I actually look weird. Hey, it would be no fair. Like it's a hundred percent fair. Because that, you're asking the question of just like because there is cereal you can have with hot milk. I call I call that oatmeal. But I'm just saying, if you normally have cereal, Bad. normally have cereal, it's usually cold milk. Just saying. Just yeah, saying. like oatmeal. Oatmeal was like you know, oatmeal is like a a warm cereal kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. It's technically a cereal, but the question is not that if you drink if you have your cereal with hot or cold milk. The question is the cereal you normally have. Do you put hot milk in it or cold milk? 
That's the question. True. Uh, what's the best end board you can make with one space connector without interruption? Uh, you can add a Savage with two negates, a Herald of Arclight, and a Charles with an interrupt. Depending on your hand, you can also have protection for that Charles. I have no idea what you just said right there, but it sounds Yu -Gi -Oh. very smart. <laughs> it sounds very smart. <laughs> okay, okay. Do you like puzzles in video games? <laughs> I raised that girl, everybody. <laughs> I raised her. <laughs> I love it. Twisted my words. How dare I? I did not twist your words. I just made it more sensible. I raised that girl. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Any more questions? Any more questions? Uh, 110% yes. I'm going to get canceled for that, but pineapple does go on pizza. What? Fight everybody. No, it tastes oh, disgusting, though. Oh, you're just... You're just you just have bad taste. What do you mean bad taste? Like, like you don't put something like fruit on a Oh, absolutely. Salty... You get the sweet no. and the salty? Absolutely. It's no, so it's good. disgusting. Hawaiian... Oh, sweet and savory, exactly. No. Hawaiian pizza is one of my mm. favorite pizzas. It's actually Ugh. my go-to. I might as well put anchovies on that, and it'll probably taste better, No, 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 right? no, 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 yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I don't... It absolutely sounds like not. it's the same realm. Super same realm. I will either Super get Hawaiian same. pizza. I'm okay with cheese and pepperoni, obviously. Oh, yeah. But I also very much enjoy my Hawaiian. Uh, but I also very much enjoy sausage, pepper, and onion. You would enjoy your Hawaiian. I would. I'm very base. Chicken bacon ranch. Oh yes, I have to get the chicken bacon ranch pizza as well. Got it. No, I love chicken bacon ranch. I can't. I can't deny that. Um, someone asked if you would hug them. Yes, Yuzu. I would hug you. I've already given you a hug though. Ah, I would ask some questions, but I'm too sad. It's okay, Dark. You totally okay. Like it's top wifey. Top woo -woo. wifey. Woo woo. Uh, woo. Chicken bacon ranch. I do like that. Too much salt. Too much salt. Now I'm hungry. Does Aika is gay? Does Aika gay? You that's a game yes. grump. That's a game grump reference. Does Aika is gay? Very gay. Very that. gay. <laughs> I love that. Steak or tendies? Uh, steak and tendies is the correct answer. Oh, both at the same time. You get like a nice ribeye steak. No, no, no. Yeah, filet mignon, and you put chicken tenders on it. Oh Absolutely. my god, that's so cursed. Oh, that'd be so crazy! No, 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 no. no, no. no Just I don't know imagine. If you've so I don't, I don't, I don't know if you've been to Texas Roadhouse. Um, they do that? No, no, no. So it's not like a, oh. it's not filet mignon. It's nothing any crazy. It's like a, it's a very small cut. Um, and it's steak and chicken critters. Uh, chicken critters is what they call them, but basically steak and tendies, and that's one of my go-to's if they don't have prime rib. Oh, uh, I see. What I was thinking is like someone makes like a filet mignon, like a really fancy filet mignon, and then they just mock oh, some. Absolutely not. <laughs> I would think that'd be so cursed, but I would love to see Gordon Ramsay. It's like, what it's is like... the hardest thing you ever did in a video game? Hardest thing. I'm really bad at video games. Um. So any game. And I also. Much. Um, I had to, uh, I don't even know if this is like Can't exactly confirm. the craziest I thing. Yell internationally while watching stream. Ah, there was a, uh, there was a stream. Uh, there was a, I was at a smash tournament early on in smash four. Uh, I play you in smash. That's all I answer that question on right now. Quick. Oh, there's a streamer. I was playing, uh, or there's a guy who played against the smash four at a tournament. Um, I believe his name is K I R. Um, and he was a one of the top players. I think he did really well. He topped the CEO of that year. Um, and I had to play against him in tournament, and he complimented me. Um, I lost, but you know, of course, because you know I'm not that skilled. But I was good at Smash Four. Um, which which was your character? Uh, I was a very aggressive Sonic main. I played a lot like Six WX. I see. He was the Go inspiration for, for my playstyle. Too cool. Um. If I could delete a character from a game, who would you delete and why? Uh, I'm going to go with what I'm currently playing, and I'm going to say Byakuya because I fucking hate him. <laughs> I hope like he dies Biakia in a dumpster Togemi? fire. You like Byakuya Togemi? Oh, I hope he dies in a dumpster fire. <laughs> least favorite Genshin character. Bennett. Who is my least favorite Genshin character? No, I like Bennett. Bennett's a I don't like Bennett. <sighs> Jincho. <laughs> Jincho, really? But he's Jincho. so good. He's so good. That's the problem. I don't like him because he's like this meta character that everybody's like, oh, you have to play him, you have to play him, you have to play him. Dude, play that's bad I don't want to touch in him. In a nutshell. That's bad in a nutshell. No, no, no. Jin Cho is on like every single team because Bennett of the... Bennett's in every single team. What? No, 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 no. Nah. And the only reason I use Bennett 
is because I like <laughs> the pi I, I I use Hu Tao on my main team, so I get the twenty five percent damage bonus for Pyro. I mean, do Pyro. That's the only reason Bennett's on my team anyway. Yeah, well, I'd I still Bennett is like team. super useful in every team comp. Everyone likes to use Bennett. Who's towel? My towel. Who's towel? Also, would you fight me in any games? I'd play you in. Uh, I'd play you in Smash. I'd get my ass kicked, but I'd play. Uh, least favorite vision. Uh water. Yo, I'm gonna get can I'm gonna get canceled. <laughs> uh, damn, I'm gonna get canceled. But um, well, so we're, I'm gonna change. It. I'm not gonna have a least favorite vision. I'm gonna have my least played vision. Uh, and I don't really use Geo that much. Nothing wrong with Geo. I know Geo is kind of hard. Ha, because it's a rock. Ah, uh, I got it. I got it. Uh. And it's not that I dislike Geo. It's none of the characters in Geo. I like Geo characters. You just um, don't play just that my much. Just my, my go to is always Electro. You're excited. <laughs> You're going to get a divorce. Yeah, I know, for that one. No, I. But yeah, Tunuki, we, we can have a conversation about why I don't like Bennett, but it's a legit, it's legit. Geo Daddy Geo based. based. I love Zhongli. But if I'm going to pick, you know, if I'm going to pick a, a handsome character like that, I'm going to go with Tartag Mr. Tartaglia himself. Mr. Dang. Ajax, child. Snap, get the child. Um, I will definitely say that I do like the, my least favorite vision is Neosighted. It's a good one. It's a good one. That's a good one, too. What came first, the chicken or the egg? The egg for insert joke here. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Keep talking rock daddy. Whoa. Keep Whoa. talking yeah. rock daddy. Freaking, freaking Zhang Li's voice. Ugh. Ugh. So, Ugh. when I first heard his voice, I couldn't stop laughing because I know the voice actor. Really? Um, you know, obviously he's the voice of Shido in Persona 5, if you hadn't caught that. Oh, no, I did. Um, uh, he's also the same voice actor that plays, um, uh, Torbjorn in Overwatch. Oh, I actually didn't know that. That's he is also the voice of Mondo from, uh, Trigger Happy Havoc. I didn't know that either. Uh, yeah, he's a very, very popular voice voice actor. I just love his uh, voice. Keith Silverstein, he also plays the main villain in Code Vein. I haven't gotten that far yet. Have a good night, Muzan. Good night, Muzan. Why, I'm stinky. Take care. I'm not stinky. You're stinky. Dang, oh dang. Hawk Moth in Ladybug, I think. Oh, snap. Will I do ASMR streams in the future? Um, I never really thought about it. I just got this this microphone that I got um you know would allow me to do that i don't know if i would just just be uh, like this <laughs> just be like this i mean i can always do that if that's something that people really wanted to hear yep i think a lot of people in chat would love to hear it i just did an asmr stream of playing call of duty it was very just ASMR. <laughs> why isn't this guy dying this is ridiculous <laughs> just <laughs> that <laughs> would be so monotone. funny that would yeah. be funny Oh, is my music died? Doom, doom, doom. God, I love this song so much. I love this song too. So much, so much. It's always my intro Cheaters. Song. But how are cheaters? What do we do? I didn't do anything to cheat. Nah, never cheating. Never cheating. Alright, last questions. Last questions, and we'll be ending it very soon. No, like, yeah, I'm ASMR. getting sleepy. Yeah, I'm getting a little tired. Like, like saying that in ASMR. <laughs> What's wrong, Nuki? Is something in the hour? Did I say something wrong? Turn up your volume in your headphones, guys. <laughs> fish. Yep. See, 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 Cookie. See, it's fish. It's fish. <laughs> delay while you do this. Delay while you do this. <laughs> Sorry, there's a little bit of delay. Are your horns sensitive? Uh, yes. Please do not touch them. I think or you like. I mean, yeah. I might, think you may or may not like the sound that comes out. I think Cookie would love the sound that comes out. <laughs> Just saying. Certain clientele has said they like the, they make nice handlebars. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I had to the think about that for a second. Spots. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> okay, I got that. Any succubus tips? 
Whoa, Cookie's trying to take notes. Any suck you tips? <laughs> suck you tips? Whoa, whoa. Uh, uh, I'm not going to say that ever again. I will never say that ever again. I just realized what I just said. <laughs> I will never say that ever again. Do not uh, clip that. Don't worry about doing Don't Don't <laughs> clip it, clip it, clip it. Do not, do not, do not. D d just do your job. You know? You know, <laughs> gotta, you know, you know gotta absorb some of the life out of people. No. I don't agree you know, with that. That is, that is, I mean, that is my job as a succubus. Um, so there was a funny thing on Twitter that I had, a funny, funny interaction I had on Twitter the other day. Um, I did post a, um, I posted a tweet saying, what is a headcanon you have about my character? Because I was, I was genuinely curious if anybody had one. And I got a couple of responses, but I think my favorite one was from uh, Dr. Rice. Uh, who was somebody I was actually he did a tier list of what I shrimp for you Whoa. um I was put in the Onesama tier so I did pretty well I think good job good job proud of you proud um of you. but the response I got was this is what he says word for word I am walking back home after getting off the train passed by a dark alleyway and I found you you were looking at me with menacing yet alluring smile captivated by the look of your eyes you convinced me to take you back to my apartment and now you're just living with me and you're practically a live in neat life. Just eat game and watch anime all day while I serve as a work slave trying to provide for the both of us. Somebody then Ow. responds with demo neat life with my succubi roommate. Yep, that is definitely in the next uh, manga. The Nispy. That is an anime that I would watch. I would watch hands that down. A hundred percent hands down. I agree. I agree. All right, I think we're going to end it off right there. I think we ended off with the next uh, next Ika manga that is going to be made very soon very soon yeah that i woke up one day with ba <laughs> with ba that's not a headcanon that's just fact this is true that's very true but yep yeah, i want to say thank you guys all so much for joining in you guys are freaking amazing thank you aika for jumping in yeah, and being an amazing uh guest on my show thank you so much yeah, definitely for don't forget me. of course of course definitely don't forget to check her out do you want to shout out some socials uh yeah you know check me out on twitter check me out on youtube take me out on twitch my you know my youtube my uh, all i've been really doing for youtube at this current time is just uploading my vods um nothing too crazy uh but you know twitch is one of the streams that i have you know yeah i've been playing uh i pretty much do everything on twitch you can catch me at five o'clock eastern standard uh monday wednesday and friday for streams i like that i like that Definitely go check her out. It'd be awesome to see her do some Dagger Rumpa. It'd be awesome to check it out and see who she freaks out next and who passes away. We'll see. We'll see. It's going to be interesting when she gets a little bit closer to that. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested, I also do these VTuber interviews each and every week. I will have another new one uh, next week, not this upcoming week. Um, I'm taking a break this upcoming week but stay tuned because i will have a huge amount of really awesome potential vtubers coming on my show i will have a unicorn i will have a kitsune i will have a yakuza boss i will have some twins coming on i will have some really amazing people coming on my show so definitely follow if you guys want to check them out it looks like i can't really, like just like <laughs> lost the train of thought she's like uh <laughs> Ah! <gasps> uh, <laughs> uh, thank you, for, thank you for the hundred bits. Thank you, thank you. Biddies. Thank you for the biddies, the best biddies. Thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, no, thank you guys all so much for coming on. Um, Aika, can you please stay on Discord? Do not leave yet. I'm leaving right now. No, not yet. Do do. No. No. Hey. See you guys later. Bye, bye everyone. Take it easy, bye. and I hope you guys have a nice day. Bye, bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.